Right on the first take, hit the hole in the first take. But yeah, like I was about to say though, you know what's crazy? Just two days ago, I was um, I was telling Damo and them about our trip to Denver. Because I never told Damo because me and him was beefing because when I was in Houston, he went live talking shit about me and I was mad as hell. So I ain't talked to Damo for like a month. Nigga pissed me off. And I think I had one to Houston, I went to Miami, and I went to Denver with y'all. So I ain't really seen him. And I was telling him the story. He said he don't believe that shit really happened. What, the trip? Yeah. Well, this part about the trip. is two things that happened on the trip. And I'm not going to say no names because what I'm about to say. Oh, I already know this too much. All right. So the first thing, he don't believe when I told him the part of the story Bro, where there was a chef and he fucked three prostitutes uh -huh. while y'all was out. Okay. Domo said he don't believe that. Then he don't believe it was another individual who uh, flew his partner out. Mm -hmm. Just to go to the goddamn dispensary and get some weed. Mm -hmm. So okay. he can bring some weed back. Dom was like, nah, ain't nobody doing that shit. <laughs> I was like, bro, all this happened. Allegedly. Oh, yeah. it's a hell of a all trip. this happened, bro. He ain't believe none of that. Should have been there, Dom. Great trip though. Should have been there. Great nigga. fucking trip. That shit was hilarious. Going back to Denver for my birthday. Oh, but the only reason why we talked about it is because that individual we seen at the store, and I was telling Dom, I was like, nah, not the chef, the other one. And I was telling Damo, I was like, yeah, him and him had gotten into it. And that nigga was like, bro, he don't get into it with nobody. I said, nah, they got into it. And he was like, why the fuck would he get into it with him, though? I said, bro, it's I just remember Sean waking up that morning on the... Oh, no, call them boys. The car. Where's the car? Where's the car? <laughs> right there, no, call them boys, man. I told him I got business the other day. He was mad about that. That's a wild ass trip, man. Yeah, that was a great trip. We're going back for my birthday. Okay. For real? You hear it. January 11th. You heard it here, nigga. Mm. I'm going like to just be coming back from a cruise, but... I need some food. What are y'all going to do? I'll go. Haven't got the itinerary yeah. yet. Okay. He big on the snow. If, if he snowboard. Do, I want to snowboard. Snowboard. Bro, it snowed the whole time we was there. Yeah, dude. It fucked I up told the trip my, a little that's bit. A, that's the best vibe, though. Nah, what fucked the trip up for me was that goddamn bum-ass Achilles I had. I was like, yeah, that shit, My foot yeah, wasn't yeah, fucked yeah, up, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, that bitch having a great yeah, time. Yeah. My shit was fucked I remember up. I can barely walk. I remember to the outlet. And he was like, man, I got to go back to the car, man. Yeah, you know, my shit, shit like, was hurting, bro. bro. I'm telling you, bro. I ain't never felt pain like that in my life. And it was cold. Yeah, ain't doing no skin. Yeah. Nah, I slide down on top though. So like, nah, I want to snowboard. I want him. I want to snowboard. Yeah, my Achilles man, great man. now. Mm -hmm. I want to snowboard. I might fuck mine up out there trying to snowboard. Mike, check, Mike, Mike. Another episode of Sit Down with Slim, man. Uh, believe it or not, y'all, this is episode number two hundred. Oh, yeah. okay. Been on 200. this bitch 200 episodes, bro. Congratulations, that shit crazy, my boy. bro. Congratulations. That's a big move. That shit, bro. I remember when I first started doing this shit too, goddamn. I ain't I ain't think I was going to goddamn do this shit this long. Cuz bro, I be talking to people about this all the time. A lot of niggas don't see shit all the way through. Oh, they yeah. give up too quick. Like, I ain't nowhere close to where I want to be at, but niggas just we, we just talking, talking about that commitment shit issues. Yeah. Talking about niggas like be commitment having commitment issues, issues when yeah, it come to yeah. like jobs. Like, bro, if you got commitment issues when it come to jobs, you ain't never gonna be able to do shit, your own jobs shit. Jobs and dreams. Yeah, for sure. And we gonna talk about that too, cause sure. um, Hen, I gotta give you your flowers, bro. I was a little uninspired, and then uh, you, you went on your run, just creating shit like every week, nigga, blowing me up. Like, hey man, we need to do these skits. We need to do this. We need to do that. Oh, that yeah, shit was yeah. just inspiring the fuck out of me. Like, damn, bro, this nigga really passionate about this shit. And me, I'm over here yeah. just shooting client work, goddamn, not not doing shit for myself. You know what I'm saying? Passion, that shit though, got I, just, me I try bag. to have fun with that shit. Man. Yeah, that's, all. that's the best way to do it, though. Fun. Yeah. Cause a lot of shit a nigga do goddamn just be work, nigga. But shit, if you gonna give me my flowers, I gotta get this nigga his flowers. Cause <laughs> we got nigga, Mall in the building too, man. Yeah, Maybach so, Mall. This nigga uh, made AKA me want to rap Butler. again, bro. Now I say like I stopped, <laughs> but like, 
<laughs> you said AKA what? Jimmy Butler. Oh Lord. Oh. <laughs> Hemi Butler. Yeah, Hemi. man. Yeah, yeah, man. But now nah, go ahead, give him all his flowers, man. Yeah, Shout out to Maul, man. Yeah, that nigga Tate, man, just, I mean, nigga work at it. It's crazy. He do his thing. If it me, never stops working. Nigga always records. So, I don't know, just being around that nigga, just seeing him do it, just made me want to do it again. I had to get on that shit. So, I had to give you your flowers, brother. You know what I'm saying? Hardly, man. Thank you, man. Thank that you. That video you put out was hard, too. Appreciate that. And and you gave a shout out to my nigga Grease, man, Chef. Life like my nigga Grease. Oh. Yeah. But you but you know I gotta ask you a question though. Yeah. Why'd you pull the Jimmy Butler? Oh yeah, yeah, man. You know. I, it's only about this much, man. I'm but I got time. Man. I got a big head, man. For the people me. listening, he uh he reinserted his dress. How you feel about reinserting dresses? A lot of people frown upon it. How you feel about All it? Right. If it's your hair, it's cool. And then you can't go from like right here. To Jimmy Butler style, like, <laughs> like we gotta make sense. You know that boy had a fro. So, as long as yeah. it makes sense, I was against it. I'm pretty. You can go on Facebook, and I'm pretty sure you can find me a stats for my niggas reattaching their dread. But it's like, it's my hair, and it's twelve years worth of hair. Twelve long. Ones. So explain what you did. Um, start start from the point when you had the twelve long dreads already attached. Says, so you cut them we off. We having a dread. <laughs> <said, man. laughs> I told you, gonna get it. I told you nigga. <laughs> Nah, set up, nigga. I'm telling you. Oh, we so, dreads, so you had dreads man. that you grew for 12 oh, years. You cut them off. All right. So, yeah, I had hair for a long time. My shit was like this long. But um, I wasn't keeping them up. So when I go to work, like, little bitches be, I be fucking with the shit. They be on that shit. Like, what you going to do with your hair? You need to move, move. And one day I just got tired. I was like, shit, man. Fuck it. I just got to cutting them off. No, I was talking to a little bitch. She like, man, you probably look better with a haircut or some shit. Me and my head, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I want, but shit. What you mean you wasn't taking care of them, though? I wasn't getting them done a lot, because I was in Greenville, so I ain't really... So what was they looking like? Like, kind of like wicks a little bit. Mm. Like, I had three strings, platted them up, and those started locking. So those was locked. So one day I just went home and started cutting them off, cutting them off. But my, I cut them off with the intentions on growing them back. Yeah. So then what happened was, when I cut them off... They was growing, everything was growing, but I had a look like a little patch right here where it was like, they was locked, that was locked up too, but those weren't long as like all this shit would be long and then like a little patch should be shorter. I'm like damn, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But it probably somebody told me it was like how I was keeping my hair up at the time. Mm-hmm. I wasn't oiling it. I probably wash it like once a month or something like that. So when my shit got when that shit started catching up and everything got like right here. I was already, at the time, I was already washing my hair. Like, I wash it, like, once a month, d- clean it, dry it out, put it back in the bag. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to put my shit back in. I could have went crazy. I could have. My shit could be right here right now. <laughs> so how much did you put in? Did you, like, put in about, you cut some off? Yeah, like, Do I- you still got the rest of the hair saved? Yeah, it's that career. What I really did was- <laughs> Why you saving the hair, bro? Because I'm, I'm finna get them wicked up. So, oh, okay. So when I get them wicked, um, if anything is short, she can add them in, whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might, cause, you know, they take a portion of them. So she might need a certain little portion to make them, then I still got them. Because the shit I got at the crib is just my roots that was locked. So when I got to them, what I did was I took the the braids loose. Mm-hmm. And then it was like that long. But then the wick part, well, it was about that long. But then the my roots might be about that long. And that's the part that the three strings had already locked all the way. See, they had them locked like, like this much. So those are like thick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got all the thick ones. I cut them. I took all the joints. These just the skinny ones, the shit that I could that get. That came loose. off the yeah. wigs. And then, goddamn, the roots is like at the crib. So when I get them wigged back up, if it's a space or whatever, whatever, she can just wig them back in that motherfucker. But I never cut my hair again. Never cut that's your a, hair. That's a crazy process. Yeah. Since yeah. we on the hair topic, how long you had uh, dreads? I don't even know, man. I ain't gonna flesh. Over 10 years, probably. So then at, least, all, at least 10 all, years. Uh, 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 excuse me, all your um, adulthood. Damn yeah, near. No, sure. nah, not me for yeah. sure. No, nah, I didn't. Not, not damn near though. Yeah, damn near. Damn near. Damn near. So how old you was? Because when your shit was just like this, I had already, my shit was already yeah. like right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I can't remember. At least 10 years for sure yeah. though. 10 Long was 2012. Time. When I dropped that, you just said that video was playing was 2012. It probably like two, three years prior to that because that's when I was going to Ant Studio. See, on, I don't know if I even had to. Rich Mejia. then. Rich Mahia, when I started going to Rich Mahia, that was right before we was always at Lexington. What made you grow yours on here? My mom Dukes. Keep it up. 
She drew her. She got him. She just got him, bitch. Oh. But she drew her. I don't know. I just seen how a bitch. Oh, he wanted to be like his mommy. I guess, yeah. I'm like my dude. Shit worked out for a nigga. Yeah. Shit, his shit was like this. The my fuck would I look like Oh, now. you started out with the little jacks? Yeah. I mean, I got a fro. I got my got a fro, fro twisted. Yeah, little glass jet. raisins. With the sponge, motherfucker? Are you, nah, are nigga, you, I went to the salon. I went to the salon. Back then, you just twisted my... See, he went to... I didn't even... When I started mine, I twisted them myself and just left my... I got my shit parted and... You know what I'm saying? My shit's one part of none of that I shit. I want my dudes went, man. She got me right, though. This shit hitting, man. Look at that nigga. Look at me, man. This shit so hitting over here. What you doing now? You working <coughs> together like that? Nah, hell nah, man. Just got oh. a whole lot of hair, so I just like having less hair. I keep my shit like this. It look like it's about to lock like that, though. No, I just got it done, really. Oh, okay. This shit just rough up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, damn, we talked about hair for a long ass yeah, time. Man, it's all your hair. No ball. Hey. Show your hair, man. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, I my shit, all right, man. You I got that good shit, shit too. Shit. I just lock my shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I encourage can't everyone to get locked. I encourage all my my queens out there to get locked. Y'all should go sure. natural and let that shit grow and show. Yeah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing like a beautiful natural woman with some nappy hair. No, I was about to say mm-hmm. nothing like a bitch with some um, dreads, but since y'all said beautiful women, yeah. Nothing but <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For oh, sure. yeah, man. I'm getting better, dog. I don't say mm-hmm. the B word no more. Yeah, that bro. vocab. Yeah, 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 I'm getting better, yeah, dog. I'm, I'm getting better with that, man. Like, um, Ma, bro, Ma just said some real shit earlier when we was outside. He was like, at the age we at, typically, like, you 80% of who you're going to be. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. That's real. But me, I'm not. not I'm probably like 20. 20. Like, I change every day, That's, bro. Okay, okay. Like, two months ago, I probably was saying bitch every two seconds. So, so did uh, Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> that one. That nigga said that shit. Oh, well, you, you know. That you guess, said only reason why I know. I believe in Zodiac. I don't either, oh, really, yeah. but, but you, it's but, to but, a certain point. Um, everybody say, like, Gemini got, like, they change up, like, they got. Uh, um, I ain't gonna lie. With this shit, I, might, I really might believe that shit. Like, they got personalities, like, different personalities. Like, Hot Boy, he's like, I'm a Gemini. You got seven me's to please, bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, I, I got a Gemini. I was at her career last night, just chilling and shit, but um, she a Gemini. That bit complicated. We'll See, we'll fall out every three months. All right, two things, two about things. Dumb shit. First off, I hate zodiac signs because girls use that shit as excuses. Oh, for sure. Second thing, some of that shit do be true because like I don't, I don't I don't think I got multiple personalities. It's just that I just change. Like, yeah, it might not even be the personality, it might mood type shit. Yeah. Like, like, bro, but see, I made drastic, like, moves, like, yeah. like, bro, I, I started smoking weed when I was 13 years old, and I woke up one day when I was 19, and I was like, man, I ain't doing this shit no more. Yeah. And I just stopped smoking weed and cigarettes. I just that day. That with Blacks, I just right, stopped. Man. See, the reason why I don't fuck with Zodiacs, I feel like that shit ain't got nothing to do with, like, astrology. I feel like that just come with dealing with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I fuck because with most so, of that shit fits everybody. Yeah. Somebody probably learned. No, the, not even that. It was like, if I fuck with so many people born within a certain month, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, okay. Oh, y'all motherfuckers in March kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same shit as I saying. I don't believe that, though. But I'm saying it's kind of the same shit as saying the Zodiac sign. It's like, it's the same time frame. People born in the same time so frame. So, God, that gym line shit, like, I done feel like I just feel like I was shot like the, by the dumbest shit, like. Now I will tell you the girls I got into it the most with was girls that birthdays was around mine. So yeah. I will I will admit that because be there's too many y'all motherfuckers in a relationship. Bro. Man, they just they just act too similar to me. Like yeah. and and I don't think that's because no zodiac shit. I just think I don't know, man. Some bitches just crazy. Like when your parents had sex around goddamn that time of the year. It's something in there. I mean, it's some in the time frame. Yeah, yeah. It's I don't know Gemini, if it got nothing to do with Gemini the stars and the moon and shit, but we gonna, say that we gonna talk about Gemini's frame. though. We gonna talk about Gemini's. Shout out Gemini's yeah, but first let's start out with um, talking about him project, dog. Okay. The four hour right. session. Four uh, session. Why was it called four hour session? That's what I, that's what I booked to record the tape in. Shout out to my boy Lo. And so I booked a session with him. I can't remember the name of the studio. I ain't gonna flex, but that's really why it's called that shit. Yeah, it took four hours to record it. And you recorded the whole thing in that four hour session. Yeah. Oh, I got a great question for you. I gotta ask you now. This is gonna be a horrible segue, but I gotta ask you now so I don't fucking forget. All right, what's up? So you recorded every song on that project in that four hour session at that studio. Mm-hmm. And one of the songs you recorded was called PTSD. And then the song it says, Police Coming. Mm-hmm. And then y'all left that bitch and got pulled over, right? Mm-hmm. For sure. How y'all yeah. feel about that? Expl- explain to us, like, <laughs> what so, order did you record that song and what happened when you left the studio? I can't like, how did y'all get pulled over? But it was, I don't know, it's power and word. That shit crazy. Like, damn, 
I said the police was coming and the motherfuckers came, bro. Motherfuckers came. Bro. And you was drunk as hell on the project. I heard you talking about Duce. So why ain't nobody getting to do you I got too drunk in that bitch. You were too drunk. Because niggas know. made a smart decision and they didn't drive. I was telling 12 I was fucked up. I was fucked up. Okay. I was fucked up. I was fucked. If I oh, been, so you hey, wasn't driving. Ma was driving. Right? I had to drive. I wasn't even Paul to drive. He just got drunk. I was fucked up. That's my fault. You really drinking? were kind of mad. Huh? Was you drinking? I don't like to drink unless I'm finna, you know. Turn I just got caught up. Got caught <laughs> what up you mean, turn to get some ass? Yeah, I don't like to drink. I don't feel <laughs> like. Boy, get cool. horny when he get drunk. <laughs> yeah. get that's what you like saying. It. On my mama, that's what he's saying. The demon come out when I get drunk, <laughs> but it be on some shit like I got. You know what I'm saying? Find some text. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boy wants to go to pound. I just feel like I should be fucking when I'm drunk. You know what I'm saying? Why? Cause, it's Cause he gets horny when he's when drunk. drunk. Yeah, but I'm saying though. Saying. So if I'm around my partners and shit, I won't get silly ass drunk. Like yeah. I get tipsy and shit like that. Or Unless like you got something lined up. Or like Saturday. Or I got some like thirty and up, three day. I don't. We don't. I ain't gonna do no endorsements and shit. But I be going to thirty and up. You know what I'm saying? I go in there and get drunk. But that's cause they playing that old music. Nigga, you an old pie. You used to go Revive. to parties and you know what I'm mm. saying. Wild out. Three, yeah, uh, 3DL. Saturday night. I worked there uh, yeah. a couple a couple times. I worked yeah. there for like two weekends, yeah. three weekends in a row. Like the 30th it feels like wild. it feels like tinted windows to me. Yeah, I ain't no clue. See, but I'm saying man. though, on Saturday, thirty and up, no tinted. Windows. That's the night. Like they That's might, the night. okay, so like, they might give you like that music. To me. But I'm saying though, they ain't <laughs> the gonna give you. Thirty and they ain't up. Gonna, <laughs> I'm saying though, they ain't gonna give you no tinted windows. They weren't playing though, Jodeci. Yeah, they ain't gonna drop that. Kim. Maybe I wasn't paying no attention there. Yeah, they ain't gonna drop. I ain't gonna lie. For a nice little set, where you gonna hear? All the music we grew up on. Okay. You might be in there and all them hoes singing that, um, damn, Keisha Cole, um, Hello. or that song oh, Fantasia had. Yeah. The, um, or whatever song was. You know, all that shit that was on on Six and Park. All right. So what happened when y'all got pulled over, though? Real y'all lights. left the studio. They said the real light, the bad lights went on. But you know how them new cars Oh, like a is. tag light. It was some yeah, fuck some, shit. Some bullshit. We were in a rental car. Boosie yeah. shit. But we were in a rental car. So nigga, we just the lights on auto, brother. If that shit ain't on, that you shit ain't back that. there. You feel that? I'm they smelled all the weed mm-hmm. in the car. Like, but that's from us. We couldn't smoke in the studio, so everybody be outside and we'll smoke in the car and shit like that. Listen to music, talk. And shit. It just was a chain of events, yeah. kind of, because the fact that niggas was smoking in the car when we got pulled over. They on some the car smell like weed. Weed where the weed at? Yeah, you know get out of the car. Type and shit. y'all ain't even had no weed at all. Yes, I had yeah, a no pocket weed. full of weed. <laughs> they just gave you a ticket. No, they didn't even get the weed that was in that his was on me. They got they the didn't weed. search us at all. Yeah, they never touched us. They searched the car. They, yeah, they got the weed. There's some little weed in the car, some shit. Like a little gram or two. Yeah. Or something. So they just throw it away because y'all said it was weed in the Oh, no, they gave me a shit to. for that. I got to go to court for that shit. Yeah, man. No snitching, man. I didn't go to. Let's put that out there because y'all, I know a lot of y'all is out here, you know, doing y'all what y'all do. Mm. You know <laughs> but 12 came to me first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. And asked me. Who had who? They found some weed in the car. Who weed in the car? I'm like shit. You talk to him. Are you who you talking to? Bro was on that shit. Like, hey, I was a little fucked up at first. Before I even said something, he on that. It's mine. Yeah, hold on, bro. We ain't gonna talk about that. It's my weed. Yeah, you so it's like, you know, I ain't got to say, oh, that's his weed. That ain't my weed. Yeah. Which theoretically, now that we talking about it, what would you say? Cause it's like it's really oh, not I've your been in that weed. Situation before. So it's like if you are gonna say it's not my weed and it's only two of y'all, you really saying, only say I've been in that situation his before weed, three years yeah. ago. But is that snitching? I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I did. and I'm gonna tell y'all if it's, like if it's snitching or not. <laughs> that's the only thing. Oh, that's no, snitching. You gotta hit that. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be on some shit Just like okay, count you know, me out of that. Let shit. me tell y'all. Yeah, let me yeah. tell y'all what happened to me. Let me tell y'all. You what found happened weed? To me. Yeah. What going on, bro? Bro, um, I'm the driver, bro. I'm sitting at a red light. I'm in uh. I'm in Atlanta, south side of Atlanta. I'm sitting at the red light. I'm sitting in that bitch like at least three, four minutes. And that mm-hmm. bitch is not turning. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. I run past the red light. I probably drive 10 seconds. Woo woo. I get pulled over. I turn that bitch over because I was about to go the other way anyway. Mm-hmm. Turn that bitch over. He comes to the car. Bruh still slumped because he just drunk a whole cup of lean. He's still slumped in the passenger seat. Mm-hmm. And he goes, he goes, let me see the license registration. I get it. So when we go to the car, he comes back. He goes, okay, it smells like weed. Just give me the weed and woo woo mm-hmm. And I go, oh, I don't even smoke. And bruh goes, yeah, me neither. And I go, nigga. Uh, that's the problem. Then. And, then, yeah, and, then and the it's cop, just y'all then, in the car? Yeah, and then the cop goes, well, I'm going to have to search it. And I looked at bruh and said, man, get him the fucking weed. Mm-hmm. And the cop was like, 
and that nigga looked at me and was like, bro, chill, bro. I said, no, nigga, give him the weed. This nigga had a half a gram of a, excuse yeah. me, not even a half a gram. He had a half of a blunt. That nigga's that an he idiot. Put in his I don't know. I'm not saying like that, but that's an idiot move. Yeah, yeah, but then we get out of the car and he had a warrant in Fulton County. <laughs> oh, maybe it was there. <laughs> so he going to jail anyway. Yeah. It's yeah. like, bro, you don't oh, want to give yeah. him the weed, but you going to jail anyway, bro. And weed ain't nothing but a fucking ticket, bro. Mm. That's all it is, is a ticket. And like, man, but yeah, that's, that's, ticket that's not snitching. He told, he told, me, said, he told me I snitched on him, even though I don't know why he, he said I snitched on him. And every time I see the nigga, he be laughing and joking. Yeah. Like, I thought I snitched on you, bro. And he be like, you did. Yeah. You know, I hit nigga with like, man, think too small, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think that's snitching, you think too small. Yeah, man. we not going to jail over no goddamn half a blunt. That shit yeah, wild. I didn't even know it weed in that motherfucker, huh? Yeah, yeah man. but that's not snitching, bro. Niggas just gotta own up to what the fuck they got going. Yeah, and that's what I did, and I'm going to court in a couple of days. Yeah, and that is what it is. But yeah, him, you be got them talking shit into existence too much, dog. Yeah, that shit. Police coming and you get pulled over that same night. Was on side road for at least a good hour. Yeah. What you think about that song when you was on side the road? You should have been. Which I think we talked about that shit. Yeah, <laughs> we talked about that. That boy was drunk. But I was drunk as like, fuck, so I was on a different. Next way. morning, it took us like two hours to like. Get from the room to the express to the expressway. It took us like thirty minutes to pull off from getting gas and get on the road. It took yeah. like thirty minutes to get off from the gas, gas station, station for a like long thirty minutes. Gas like, time, mm. uh, going crazy. Hey, and did you write that whole project or did you just yeah, freestyle yeah, yeah. something? Oh, I you write. wrote the whole thing. Yeah, I care about my shit. Yeah, I write that shit. So not to say you don't because you don't write, but yeah, you made like the hoop dream reference on at least two songs though. Like, what was the big thing about that? Because you had the interlude about Hoop Dreams, and then mm-hmm. I think I think you mentioned it in, like, track number two or something, the track before uh, Elevation. Oh, this nigga really He listen. really on his he shit. He ain't listen. I don't even my back. listen, listen. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't even... I, don't even, I, don't, what, what I can't it? remember the line. I would say, I don't know the line on the second one. But you, but you made a Hoop Dream reference, though. And in the PTSD one, I think you did also. You mentioned something about like uh, police coming after you or something when you had uh, aspirations to be such and such. Are you trying to ball? Yeah, he's fucking. Yeah. yeah. Overall, yeah, just overall scheme with that. You, and that's just a whole metaphor, just trying to succeed, trying to be something more. And you know. Oh, something else you said in PTSD before I get off of that one too. Were you talking about a certain individual or, or that, that you really knew or were you just speaking in general when you said, I seen a millennial get a millennium? Mm. That just was going on, really. Oh, okay. That just was going on. I was about to say I know that. a lot of young niggas that's, that, got, mm-hmm. yeah, that got that type of shit. You feel? To be real, yeah, I have seen it. Because some of my friends, well, now they weren't called millennials at that time, but yeah, these young niggas is getting years. They're giving niggas years like it's a deal or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. What's the most you ever seen a nigga get before? I mean, multiple lives, lives. I don't know what you can get past that shit. A life. Nah, you know, sometimes they do weird shit where they like, they like try to make a point. So like, mm-hmm. like a serial killer, for instance. Like, 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 oh, yeah. They'll be like, they'll be like I mean, 12 but you like know, like, Or like life has like a, I think life is like 30 years. I don't know. I can't remember. 25. I know somebody okay. that really got like 60. So you, so you like, can like yeah. multiply that shit. You got to do these 60 years. They got mm-hmm. three counts of life. 75 years. It really be about the people that you done seen get out. Like, well, you just did 10 years. You just did 12. Right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I told this story before on the pod, but when I lived in Kentucky, I used to take the Greyhound back here to come visit on like Christmas and shit. Mm-hmm. And bro, I was on the Greyhound one time. Ain't nothing but prisoners on that motherfucker. And I was there one time, a nigga was sitting next to me and I had my headphones in and he had a fucking like TV made out, out of plexiglass. I guess he made in prison or something. Mm-hmm. And he just kept staring at me. And finally, when we stopped the bus, I was like, bro, what the fuck you looking at? You know what I'm saying? Because he looked kind of gay. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck you looking at? And he was like, man, I was just wondering what the hell that is in your ear. And I said, what, nigga? What's and in I, your ear, nigga? Nigga, some earbuds. Oh. <laughs> and I pulled my phone out. I was like, nigga, I'm just listening to music. And he was like, damn, that's crazy. Oh, my he boy was like, that. Okay. Bro, he was in that bitch for a long time. That nigga said, y'all ain't got Walkmans no more? Bro, oh, this yeah, was boy, this was like two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine. You talking to goddamn that nigga said uh, a Walkman. Was my boy ain't for life? Yeah, Clyde, Clyde and goddamn. Bro, so I asked him. Yeah. I said, I said, bro, how long you been in that bitch? He said, shit, boy, since ninety two. What year this was? Oh eight, oh nine. Mm. 
That's a big adjustment. A lot of technology done switched. Nigga, he was going... But see, not really, though. That's only like 18 years. Man, <coughs> Slim. I done, 16, 17 slim, years. I done dealt with partners getting out, having to adjust to like iPhones and shit. Yeah, I know. I know. Real talk, like FaceTime and like live. But see, we we live in it, so it's like kind of hard to understand it. Because like when bro was like, y'all ain't got Walkmans no more, I was thinking like 1992. And I'm like, damn. I was like three. Hey, we CD players. Yeah. That CD players. Bro, 1992, yeah. the internet was just getting like really polished off. It but was created, but it right? was just getting polished off. They had CDs in 92? In 92, no. Yeah. We didn't have compact, we didn't get compact discs until. Like 98, 99. Yeah, sure. maybe, yeah, maybe um, uh. 98. 98, 99? Yeah. We, we, still, boy, bro, we still had Walkman cassette players For sure. in 92. 92, like Snoop Dogg and shit popping and yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, bro, got them. He just ain't never seen it, bro. And that's why, like, bro, certain things happen in life, <laughs> and you got to sit back and, like, realize why it happened. And I feel like that moment, like, you're not supposed to take shit for granted, bro. Like, time That come again older, though. I just had a conversation yeah. with Reggie earlier today, bro. Like, I was telling that nigga, like, I be sitting and randomly thinking about niggas. Because like I said, my grandma just passed. So I've been like in the bottom a lot lately. I've been downtown a lot. So goddamn. I've been on the, on one of the streets I grew up on. Mm-hmm. So I just think about niggas. That nigga that got a murder. Nigga that got a murder. That nigga got a murder. Just looking, thinking about all my past childhood friends and shit. And just be like, bro, like, I'll talk to them now. And I'll be like, boy, the last 10, 15 years of y'all life has been so different. Yeah. From my last ten years of my life, like, and it's like, niggas could be right there. Which you know, what I'm saying it's just like a simple to say that shit crazy. But that come, come with getting older, because when you get older, you look back on all that shit and just be just like, y'all niggas blessed overall. Y'all ever like get into the moment where you where you call your people and be like, damn, that shit you told me when I was young, you was a hundred percent right. Like, you remember when we was kids? I probably like, never told my mama that. Me I, ain't gonna I tell my mama that shit every other month. I probably maybe, never. maybe it's just me. Maybe I, I get dumb. I give her flowers, but she's never there to receive them. It come up like through a conversation <laughs> yeah, with yeah. people. I'm like, yeah, like she did the right thing. Mom, you don't tell your niggas. people that nigga? Nah. I ain't if never I did, gave I had a conversation flowers. with my grandma. Like, yeah. Damn, like, you know. Like, it makes sense shit, now, like, type shit. For real, like, yeah. But mostly, I, before I talk to them about it, I be talking to like people younger than me about the shit. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I might give my mama her flowers by, you know, by giving them guys doing shit for her shit. type shit. But young, I mostly talk to young people. Like, why is that though? Like, do y'all think it's just because y'all just don't want to have that conversation, or y'all don't see that to be I don't true? Know. No, I, 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 I feel it because, like I say, I preach it. Yeah. I be on some, bro. You might think you're people tripping on your type shit. You know what I'm saying? Telling young folks, but shit, bro, they, they just see shit you can't see right now. You feel me? That's the flowers. By like um, giving the guidance. Giving it what yeah. I got from my mama to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's the flower. For sure. I um I talked about this on my uh Patreon episode, but I got a neighbor. He's 17 years old. We was having a conversation. Oh, matter of fact, you was outside uh last weekend. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I had talked to him after y'all had left. And he was telling me how mature he is and how he can't talk to his other friends because like they want to be like managers at stores and he want to be a movie director. He think big and da-da-da. And I kid you not, like when, when we got done, when we got done having that conversation, it just got me thinking about me at seventeen. And I'm not calling this young man <laughs> stupid, but I wasn't thinking. About I was him dumb as a motherfucker, yes. and I'm not saying he he's not stupid at all. But and he's actually way more mature than me. Like that nigga was talking about how he a virgin, and all that shit. All I thought about was pussy and weed and money. I mean, nigga said he want to be a movie director, yeah, in school. But also, he thinks he knows it all. And I thought the same shit at 17. Like, I was For like, sure. nigga, what I'm doing is the right way. My mm-hmm. mama ain't talking about shit. These principals ain't talking about shit. This police got them tripping. Yeah. Nigga, what I'm doing is the right way. I know what I'm this doing. This is how you do that shit. Yeah. And nigga, every single thing I was doing at 17 was the wrong fucking way. Right, sure. 17, I wasn't thinking about nothing. And you, and I'm just living I tried to tell, bro, I was like, you can't call yourself mature at 17 because you lack the experiences. Yeah. Because when I was 17, I told him, I was like, bro, I thought I had it all figured out. Nigga, I never had went into nobody corporate job before. Mm-hmm. So the first time I go into somebody corporate job, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to deal with my... Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm fucking every bitch that even looking yeah, at me you, crazy. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah, I'm fired. Because yeah, I keep fucking yeah, all my, yeah. all my I coworkers. I said, you ain't really been tested <laughs> yeah. in so many ways. I don't yeah, know yeah. what I I'm doing. Even, 17, I wouldn't even think about being successful in school. 
Like, well, I just going to no, school. I just, I really yeah, me neither. I regret that though. That's one of my biggest regrets yeah, in life. Yeah, yeah. I regret yeah, that. I fucked up school. I ain't fuck school out of Because I went from making straight A's to like not even thinking about that shit. Nigga, I went from. I probably never made straight A's in my life. Me neither. And you know, I made straight A's damn near all my life, and just and I went, I went to from Mac- straight A's to straight F's. Straight, straight A's. A's, hell no. I just got now, them. I just got from grade to grade. I ain't gonna lie. Thoughts. I've probably consistently gave straight F's before. Yeah. Yeah, I got straight I've F's. I've had NAs. I done had NAs on that motherfucker. I remember I went to my funeral and they hit my, they said my grades, my mama. I mean, a lot of it because I was, um, when I did whatever I did, I was um, suspended for the rest of the first semester. So I had only been in freshman, like, my freshman year, like, I only been there like two months or something. But I had like zero, 25. Yeah. I got a zero. 35. Yeah, yeah, wow. Like, the little three, four weeks that I was in there, I wasn't doing that much work. And then I <laughs> set out for the rest of the first semester. So that's Z, all them zeros, and it just equated in the horrible grades when I got to try being. They put them bitches out. 17. Oh, zeros, man. NAs, yeah. man. NA shout it, man. I was go to not, school. I man. was not going yeah, to class, man. And school. when I went to school, I did not go to class. I went to one teacher's class and be in there all seven periods. Yeah. Wow. Why? You fuck with me. Yeah. You fuck with me and a couple of my partners. <laughs> you fuck with He's me. He's a cool ad teacher. Rest go in to peace. Every lunch. Rest in peace, Mr. Hatton. He's a cool ad teacher. He fuck with certain people. And if you fuck with you, you can come to that bitch and be in there all day and do whatever the fuck you want. I'm talking about. So what you just got niggas just in that bitch sacking weed. NAs for the rest of your classes. I did that for I did that part for I blew a I blew a solid school year in Mr. Hatton class. I mean that bitch That's all tough. seven periods. All year. I get suspended. Did you graduate it? No, I got kicked out of school. Oh, what you got kicked out of school for? Just not, I mean, I was just not giving a fuck, going to school for the wrong reasons, bro. <laughs> I was on the other shit at that point in time. I was, yeah. a different, was a different person at that point in time. 17, you know how much pussy I'm Come on, bro. I was on some whole other school. shit. I'm breaking in lives. I was out of high school, fresh. I'm doing man. whole I mean, that's when shit. you get the ass when you in high school. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. Sure. Ninth grade, I was, I was fucking my damn by like, but when I got kicked out, I didn't have access to all them hoes that was in school, females that was in school because I wasn't at school every day. <laughs> Ma was trying to correct his language as he goes. Yeah. All them hoes, it's all them growing, females. It's, <laughs> it's growth in so, your face. I was getting neighborhood <laughs> pussy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, neighborhood ass. Like, no girlfriends, none of that shit. Like, I had girlfriends like ninth grade after that. No more girlfriends. From, from whatever time I was, when I got kicked out of knife, so 10th, 11th, 12th, while they was at school. I was at home doing other shit, watching TV, and goddamn chasing yeah. chase neighborhood pussy for a good three, four well, years. I ain't, I ain't agreeing with that. I ain't, I ain't not, in my not head. thinking about no school. Yeah, man. Any kids that's listening to this, go to school. Go better, to school man. to see, get straight A's. See, y'all situation was different from mine, though. Like in ninth grade, I had straight A's, and goddamn, I sold some weed to a white boy and had to go to a tribunal mm. for it. But they let me back in school because I had straight A's, and yeah. I didn't get caught with the weed, so they let me back. But uh, See, I never got there. I never got yeah. to go to the tribunal or turn to school. Oh, they I just kicked that. me I out. Twice. The second time I had to go to a tribunal, I where out. I was 17, I got locked up for possession with intent charge in Columbia County. Damn. And got there. when I went back to school the next nigga, year, man. nah, when yeah, I went back to school man. the next year, bro, because I was in there for like six months, I went back to school the next year, they made me go to a tribunal. And that, I was confused. I'm kid like, court, kid yeah. court. Nigga. I was like, nah, well, you know, I went to the grown man jail. Man. But oh, got okay. Down, when I went to the tribunal, I'm kind of confused. Like, what the fuck this got to do with school? And they basically was like, you had this amount of absences. I think I had like 40 some absences. And they were like, you had straight F's and 1D. This high school? Yeah, this okay. was my senior year. Okay. And got down. Basically, they let me back in school, though, because they were like, this shit is kind of stupid. Like, you got arrested outside of school, so it's kind of dumb. But anyway, <coughs> we ain't talking about me. Back to the project. This nigga here. Because <laughs> I was just stupid, bro. I tell everybody, I just was a suburban kid that thought I was Scarface. <laughs> nigga just watching Scarface I think too I said much. everybody, but man. But some niggas doing that now, and they 30. For sure. They have, at least I was only 16. They, they just have yet to find themselves. I was watching One Tree Hill at the crib. That's all, What's man. What's that about? It's like some white Like a CW show? Yeah, yeah, that? yeah. That WB, motherfucker. It's about the shit I was talking about? The suburban kids doing some no, like some shit. white family shit, like... Two brothers that didn't know they was brothers went to the same school type shit. They found out they was brothers, but none of them fucked their dad. Little high school shit. Some growing yeah. pains. Yeah. Have y'all ever seen uh, Euphoria? 
Hell yeah, dope man, ass. That's, that's what my high school, school looked like. Look like. I don't watch it from front to beginning. That's, that's what my high school looked like. Yeah. My high school looked just like that. I could dig it. I could feel yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I could feel them vibes. My high school was a little different. So that's what's going on, like, um, Lil Meech. That would be me. <laughs> she got me weak. <laughs> that would be me. She got me weak. Just the suburban kids selling drugs to the white kids. Cool, getting some. Are white you, well, you was Tyreek. <sighs> nah, Tyreek was a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I ain't had no daddy. What's the, what's <laughs> you know what's what's the little white boy name off for you? Uh. Which ha- one? Had a house that was selling out of people. Oh, the slow nigga. Yeah. Nah, I wasn't got him neither. <laughs> I mean, he was, he was serving the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he I wasn't him because he was just too slow, bro. But yeah, I guess I would be him because you know what's crazy. Not That's mentally, what brother. Not mentally, bro. Yeah, Quayne them said that. Quayne okay. was like slim as you. They they said the well, head. That was your position in the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm nah, slimy. I was, me. Me. I was yeah. kicking doughs and shit. Everybody at school. I'm. Yeah, man. In people's houses. I just bro, we had niggas like that too. Like, bro, the stupidest shit when I was in school, and I hope I don't incriminate nobody. But um, I used to have these houses, bro. I used to fuck a lot of bitches in school, bro. It was this house, this girl I used to fuck with. She babysitted the people that lived in front of her kids, but they had a house. They uh, one of them took a job out of state, and the house was just sitting there. Mm. And I never gave her the key back to that house, mm. so, so we used to just spy. go over there bringing bitches there, all kind of shit. And it was weird. One room was like a sex room, so it was full of dildos and sex toys and swings and all that shit. Hey. The other room, he was a collector. Well, they probably got so all y'all young guns, niggas on camera. They probably had cameras in that no sex cameras. room. No, this is back in the day. Room. Niggas ain't had niggas ain't had cameras okay, in the like suburbs back in the day. Like yeah, niggas yeah, yeah, yeah. I would well, excuse me, middle class neighborhood. I would took every gun. Oh, everything. Listen, listen. I told all my homeboys, bro, this is what we gonna go post up at Friday nights and just fuck these hoes. I feel you. That's we real did player. that shit for like a year, that's bro. That's real player thinking. Man, man, I moved to Kentucky, bro. You already know them niggas clean that shit out. Listen to what these dumb ass niggas did, though. One nigga dropped his fucking ID in the house. Oh, yeah. that's The player left. You left, bro. You kept yeah. it play. You had a player mindset yeah. back then. Yeah, they had know, a grimy because mindset. Because niggas, niggas do follow like the nigga who got the most sense, but once he gone... Yeah. All the troops just separate. Oh, they yeah. run away you like chickens with oh, their head yeah. cut off and just do dumb oh, yeah. shit. And start doing oh, dumb yeah. shit with other. He niggas. got locked up for that. Shit? Nah, they came to investigate. They came to uh, investigate. He was going. To, uh, he ended up going to a school in Richmond County, and got down. When they came to investigate, he just stopped going to school. I got two homeboys did that shit. Broke in their daddy's house. He was a gun collector. Stole all his guns. Nobody went to jail for it because he found out it was his sons, but he never got none of the guns back. Probably like 30, 40 guns. So he took care from his son. Mm-hmm. That's love, boy. Yeah. But, bro, let's get back to the project, though. Yeah. Um, my favorite, bro, my favorite song on the project, Elevation. What's that about? Who is that about? Is that about somebody? Look at Mark. That boy, that good. <laughs> Is that about somebody? Was he in, was he in his uh, Drake bag when he was in, in the studio? I it's called Elevated. Oh, it's called Elevated. Elevated. My bad, bro. I'm bad with names, bro. But it's but about that's somebody, my shit, yeah. though. It's about my girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. He be his Drake here. bag better than you, Ma. Big Marie doesn't like to be discussed on podcasts. Yeah, she don't get on my ass. She's sensitive about that Ooh. type of shit. Yeah. My bad, my bad. I just, you know, I just yeah. was curious. Yeah. Look that face. It's a true statement. It's a true song. That's a true song. It's a uh, it's a dedication record. It's dedicated yeah. to her. I ain't know that for sure. But that but you said that he is my Drake bag. CC. That's that's a Drake bag. But I like that kind of bag. Yeah, yeah. Like see, I'm, I'm done. I'm out. I'm she got me elevated, bro. You feel me? Yeah, she cause see, like man. him was real playing cool on that track yeah. with that yeah. about uh, about the girl. See, Ma, you got a song yeah. I heard you on. You wasn't playing cool about that shit at all. Okay, he dark, Drake. That he went dark. Talking, bro, that yeah. nigga was talking about crying on the way home in the car, dog. Kind of shit. Oh, shit, Ma. <laughs> yeah, you was, oh. bro. What's that song? I ain't say nothing about crying, now. I I'm, think you did, nah, bro. I tell you, I think I might say a lot in podcast. I know you know what I ain't song never I'm talking about. I ain't bit, heard it in a minute, though. I dropped a tear by one bitch in my whole life, for sure. What happened? Ooh, that's a different podcast. Yeah, yeah. Different podcast. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I want to know. Give me the short version. Nah, hold on, man. Now, my nigga said he got a tape coming on that, you know, that that, that Lover's Day. Y'all talk about that on that day. That's a deep story. That, <laughs> that's a wound. I not want to get too deep. I just fucked it up. You know what okay. Saying? That shit just reminded me when I asked Blue about his heartbreak. And that nigga said, oh, shit, fuck, next subject. <laughs> like, that shit was I would hurting. love to hear that nigga talk Bob, about it. You, you looking the same All way, All my homeboys was there right there when I dropped him. All of them was like, boy, you saw fuck. Like, you gotta have blue hair oh, with. Oh, that shit really hurt. You gotta have blue hair with Maul, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. 
I ain't been, I ain't never been right with women since. Like, I've been right. I do right. I'm that right. was the heartbreak? Hell yeah. We're getting deep. Do you We're think you deep. ever can love again after that? Yeah. We're getting I deep. Still love do you know what love is? Yeah, I still love I it. I asked everybody on this podcast. Getting deep. I still love that bitch. Woo. So, so love is really unconditional. Like, it never fades. It never goes away. That's what love is. Real, yeah. If so, that shit yeah. does make you stupid. Like, you'll spend a block over some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I never felt that there. Might be trying to... Sp- I've been spinning. I'm spinning. I'm dizzy out there. <laughs> that was a spinning and spinning game. Hey, what's love to you, bro? Answer the question. Don't don't, don't try to dodge. Elevate it. We, like, yeah, we own your, we own your right. love That's song. what love is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. this segment of what the What love is to me, play Elevated. Yeah. That's what love is. Nigga, nigga made a song about his woman. That's love, yeah. Nah, but you was too cool on that song. Like, I know, I know that wasn't that, that wasn't everything you feel about love. Tell me what love is. Tell, tell me your definition. Mm. That's deep, brother. You trying to take it? Damn, what's love? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. A girl you told me. Real cool. No, a girl ain't tell me. I, I, I ain't lobby putting some quotables out there in my day. Love <laughs> is giving someone the power to hurt you. But trusting them not to. Yeah. So. Yeah, I definitely never love no bitch. Um, <laughs> woman, <laughs> my bad. Because I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I don't trust describe. nobody. Yeah, see, I'm at that point now. Like, I don't... I tell you I love you, but you love people. I'm not in love with you. I just love you. You know what I'm saying? I've been around you this long. Woo, 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 I care about you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? But I yeah, because this I is my thing. Like, you. especially growing up, I always love hood bitches. Like... And I just, I just like them. I ain't love them. Like I ain't want to be with them. Might just want to fuck. Yeah, them. I just want to fuck them, have fun with them. But like, I don't want to be with you. Like my mama don't like ghetto ass bitches. So yeah, like, you want something you can bring to the crib? Yeah, yeah. I was well, say, nah, not not really. This nigga. I'm talking about at the end of the day. At nah, the end of, I don't care about that. Oh, damn, <laughs> damn. I tell you some some wild <laughs> shit. The only, uh, it was one girl that met my mama back in the day. But on God, the only girls that ever met my parents was girls that. I let get away type shit like they only they met my mama probably after Uh-oh. the fact type shit. Ma, I see why you deeper, be in your Drake bag, getting bro. Deeper and deeper. Bro. You love women, dog. Jaded, getting out. I was jaded raised shit. by women. Yeah, you love women. Sure. What about you, Han? For sure, I'm in love. Okay, so I'm by myself here. Yeah, he ain't love. I ain't in love right now. You love Somebody women too, bro. You are raised by your mother. You love your mama. I love my mama. You love women. So you don't love no other. You know what it is? Right oh no, I, I love I love someone. You know what it is? You probably ain't ran across a woman you felt. Yeah. Cut from the same cloth as I'm your saying mother. it's a woman right now that's Correct. not your family. That's member. it right there. But I have met some that was. See, but I'm gonna say this though. But they don't fuck me for two. I'm gonna say this though. <laughs> All right, Master, was you was you raised by would you say you were majority raised by a single parent? Uh it's half and half. So half of my life I was raised by my excuse me, the beginning I was just raised by my my mom, then my mom and my stepdad, and then that's the first time I ever called that nigga that. But then okay. my mom the rest okay. of the time. So it's like half and half. I ask you that to say this. Men that's raised by single mothers should be appreciated more because they have an overall higher what respect. What you just said? Hmm? What you just said? What? It's the love for my grandmama make me gentle when I kill. You feel me? me? Yeah. We have a, a deeper respect yeah. and love for women in general because we was raised by our single we yeah. their subconscious or conscious. I got to be the outline. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? No, 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 no. I said whether well, they subconscious or conscious because you oh, see yeah, your mama for sure, do for it. Sure, for sure. But it's a gift and a curse because oh, yeah, bro, the nah. fact that we witnessed that, like I said, you have yet to run across a woman that you, you that you can oh, feel nah, that nah, nah, nah. same cloth. Because I, I know what you're talking about now. Because like, yeah, when I got them get in my bag, like I, yeah, when my, bag. yeah when I'm I saying, get in my do you bag, love my homeboys be on But my that ass. cloth is real, yeah. and that's the problem. So there's the woman you love right now that's not in your family. Yeah. Okay. You ever let a good one go? You feel like you, you feel like you lost one? You lost out on, on one before? Keep it a buck. No, but it's some um, never. And, and now, woman, you. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm narcissistic as a motherfucker. So like, I'd be like, that's that bitch lost. You know what I'm saying? She that's why. Lost. That's why I said, lost me, nigga. That's why I said, keep it a buck. Yeah. Keep it real. Turn that she switch off. I mean, turn that switch off. Keep yeah. it a buck. Now, so, don't yeah. get me wrong. Like it's been it's been some where where I'm I on this nigga ass right and now. And I got them laid down late at night, and I was like, damn, I love when she used to got them lick my balls and go down to the goose. This nigga, yeah, I yeah. used to love that. But that's it. I don't be like, damn, I miss that bitch company, bro. Honestly, I don't really like women's company. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't love care is for that a shit. love is a mutual understanding. Put it out there. I love and women. And genuine love and abundance, brother. I can tell, man. It's nothing better than you know. I can tell, just bro. you and a woman at the crib kicking it. Nothing. 
I love it. Bro, shout out, I shout out to my nigga Grease, bro. When we was young, Grease used to come to the house, and we would be in that bitch all day shooting dice, playing video games, smoking weed. And Grease used to be like, and you know, we might run a train on a bitch or two. For sure. And Grease would come in that bitch and be like, bro, y'all niggas don't never just want to like lay up with a girl? And we used to be like, hell no. Oh. <laughs> Green's been on that love shit like before all of us, bro. Like, bro, I used to have this thing where like, I used to tell niggas like, bro, we don't eat pussy, bro. And niggas got them was behind me on that, except for Grease. Grease was the only nigga like, bro, I eat pussy and ass. Oh, you sucking And we was like 15. Shit, yeah. That oh, nigga Grease yeah, was no, already eating ass. At 15? Yeah. I ain't start eating pussy till I was in my 20s. I ain't eat no pussy at 15 either. I ain't, I ain't no pussy at 15. I ain't eat no pussy at 15. Yeah, Grease, Grease was beyond his years. He been a lover boy. I still ain't ate no ass. Nah, you look like you eat some ass. Bro. You have ate ass. I have never in my life ate ass. Why not? Never have I licked a bitch ass. All right, Why? back to the tape, man. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I commend you, bro. That sounds special. For a while. I commend you. He ain't no. <laughs> How you feel about the love from the tape, though, so far? It's, it's been out shy. for, what, three days? It'll be about five days when this come out. Yeah, three days. Well, today's the 20th. Six days. So, yeah, it came out on 26. Yeah, it's been straight so far. It's time It's time for the hat question. It's been straight. Um, What's up? Do you, do you feel like you're you're still hardly ever noticed? Yeah. You said the hat question. <laughs> for sure. If you know, you know about the hat shit. Well, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I am. And you know what? I said a statement about that yesterday, and I don't know how you're going to take this, but mm-hmm. I'm going to just repeat it because... I, I run my mouth a lot, and it's not that I'm talking behind nobody back. I'm just talking because I really feel this way. I told them niggas that if you had a more outgoing personality, like a Itchy or like a Flyer or like a J Fox, you will be way above them niggas because the music is already better. See, the thing is, I'm a little older. I once was that. That's why everybody. I really know everybody. Just yeah, keeping yeah, it a book, but it's I, like it's because I once was. A, I probably shouldn't even have said their names. I was just, I was just nah, naming I people, saying. people who like everybody fuck with like yeah, that. Yeah. And it's basically because I feel like you know the podcast. You heard me talking to Trues about the about the I called you the crit of uh, of Augusta. Augusta yeah. Is because people are more so infatuated with like people who got them show the money. I mean, they, no, but they, they, they out and about. They hear the street myths about and For sure. shit But they like out that. and about. They in people's faces. Yeah. Niggas don't really see me unless you know me, really, <coughs> at this point. He, oh. I'm just like, older, bro. The laid up. Yeah, I'm chilling, bro. I just do this because I love it. But, like, I once was that young nigga everywhere, every weekend, every Thursday, Friday. It was a hand, you know what I'm saying? But, shit, man, niggas chilling. Niggas trying to count some paper yeah. or go see something I ain't never seen before, somewhere I ain't never been before. We used to really be lit. You feel me? Still is lit. Just on some, some whole, just on some yeah, whole other shit right now. You feel me? But oh, I'm right there with y'all though. You feel me? But shit, the music speak for itself. It'll travel. It'll get to the people it need to get to. I'm on right. that type shit. Somebody asked me a question today. I was talking to them about the same thing we just got done talking about with the 17 year old thing, right? Because I'm talking about that shit a lot lately. Like some shit, like just makes me goddamn talk about the same shit over and over sure. again. And the person that asked me, they said, if you could go back. To being 17, would you do it? And I explained to her, fuck no. And she was like, why? She was like, I, uh, and I told her, I said, I don't want to ever go through that again. Yeah. And she thought I meant like my life. She was like, she was like, y'all come in the county, nigga, swear y'all had a rough life. I said, I've never said I had a rough life because I didn't. And it's not about my life. It's about where the fuck you at mentally when you 17. Yeah, like, yeah, nigga, being confused, not knowing. Like, Ma, you was just I'm saying straight. that shit. Like, nigga, basically that shit you said, all I heard was like, nigga, I ain't know I was going to be alive at 30. Because that's how I felt For at real. 17. Yeah. Like, I was thinking about what I would do next year. Not, I'm going to be 30 one day. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't want to nah, go through that again. I don't even think of next year. I remember I was walking down the street one day. I just be thinking about myself walking down. I was like, I was like 17. I was on some shit like I'd never go to jail. No, I was in jail like the next year. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't think about that shit. I wouldn't go back neither. I wouldn't go back because I won't I'm straight on dealing with the anxiety or stress of trying to figure it out. I'm yeah. good right now. I kinda got the shit figured out and shit good. So yeah, we I rather coach. Bruh, and that's why I don't, I don't like talking to um not my friends I grew up with, but more so my friends that I grew up with that went to Georgia Southern with me. Because them was 
the prime of their life. Like them niggas, like, well, we used to go out oh, to goddamn yes, apartments yeah, and yeah, fuck yeah, two bitches in a yeah. day. And, and I didn't want to be that nigga to where like my heyday yeah. was back in the day. I want, yeah. like my best days still so ahead of me. You feel me? You knew you where feel? I was going, bro. For sure. The best times of my life was not college. It was not high school. Nigga, the best times of my life is now, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I be sure. trying to tell these niggas, like, like my nigga Damo, like, bro, do you know how good it feel to come to your big ass house, park your car in the driveway, and get some head in your king size bed while you nigga, watch your belly on the, on the TV mounted on the wall? Come on, that shit bro. feel good as hell. I used to watch niggas in the movies do this shit. Yeah, you feel me, nigga? The, the nigga who I want to be like, y'all, y'all gonna jive on me, and I don't care because I'm now grown enough to start admitting this because everybody else want to admit it. Be like Stifler. Nope. I want to be just like Lil Bow Wow, nigga. Nigga, I moved here the summer going I mean, into eighth grade, and Lil Bow Wow had the song with Birdman where he was in the car taking his driving test. Okay, I, remember I wanted that. my I remember license that. so fucking okay, bad okay, just so I okay. can drive a car and had a girl at the mall and buy some clothes. Oh, yeah, being like, at, having a whip was yeah, crucial. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I wanted so bad, bro. I was like, damn, that nigga cool as fuck. That nigga got the Bentley on the 22s. Them shit's taller than him. Like, I want to be just like that, bro. And now that we've grown, it's like, nigga, these are the best times of your life. And I can't, sure. even, nigga, I can't wait to be 50. Because 50, hopefully I'm retired. I got some money. Man, I'm, I'm on somewhere. a yacht getting my dick sucked by two prostitutes in Miami. And I like, did so much more shit. It's like, yeah. this shit a highlight reel, you feel me? Yeah. Well, my best days are ahead of me. dick suck a lot today. For real? Yeah, I ain't gonna know. My bad. I ain't gonna, gonna miss it again. I'm saying, I am a... Uh, Advocate for all men deserve head on a yeah. regular basis. Okay. I believe I'm a firm believer that me getting head, get mine is a little better than me fucking you. So elevate. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. He fucked me up with that one. You said you get. I head. like getting head. I like to get pussy. Yeah, but I like head more than pussy. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. So head don't make you want to fuck. Yeah. But, but you'll fuck and go back to the head. It depends, yeah, for real, for real. It's a certain type of woman, like, then I'd be like, well, I gotta fuck her because she look good. But, yeah, 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 yeah. If I slip up and I nut, I ain't tripping if you don't wanna fuck, if you don't wanna wait. <laughs> that boy you know out of there. I ain't gonna lie, the head be sex sometimes, though. Yeah. Be, for me personally. I wanna fuck when I get topped. I ain't gonna flip every time. I ain't gonna flip But damn, time. I ain't know I was talking about that shit that much. I probably, you I just probably made a couple references. Like, in a minute. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Me and you. But, it's Friday night, But that bro. was a reference, though, because I always use that <coughs> reference. I always use that reference about... Halloween coming tomorrow, you know? Motherfucker pull up in a mask or something. What? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I, I might I go out know. tonight, bro. They had a Halloween party. Uh, go out and see the social tonight. It was, it was a situation at Domino House last night with some bitches wearing Halloween costumes, so I'm good on Halloween. Now. That boy be having a lot of shit going on. He be on having a lot of women yeah, on this, this shit, this, though. This, this, this right here is crazy, though. though. <laughs> oh, matter of fact, I'll talk about this on the pod. I, I ain't tripping. I'll talk about this on the pod. I said, that ain't worth shit, though. Yeah, that's true. I think my boy be, I be like, damn, my boy getting some pussy. I'm going to talk about this on the pod. I'm just not going to say everybody's name. Long getting But I already said Domino. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Bro, we was at Domino Crib yesterday. All pussy ain't good yeah, yeah. I'm like, now I'm done with that bitches around this. But head. anyway, that part getting edited out. Let's move forward because I thought that story was going. I ain't think it was going to end that way. Even yeah. though I'm a storyteller, I ain't yeah. think it was going to end that way. So. That shit, that got deep. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. you can put in is that part right there. That story got deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we coming back and uh, join the Patreon if you want to hear the story. <laughs> I'll put the story on Patreon. But anyway, moving forward though, moving forward. Um, features. Let's talk about features. You ain't had no features on the project, did you? No, sir. Why not? You had all those all those artists from Augusta in the studio and no features. I just wanted good energy. And more so just to get people in the room that probably ain't met or know each other. Just just a good love, really. Well, just well, good energy in the room. You did have two features on there. You had me and Trues on the intro. Okay, yeah. Shout out to my boy Slim and shout out to my boy Trues. The realest you ever slept. Is on. that your boy Truce? Yes, sir, man. Oh, okay, I thought y'all niggas was beefing. No, nah, man, nothing but love in my heart. And Can soul. we talk about the Truce beef a little bit? Ain't no Truce. Just to be beef. funny, bro. Just, just to be funny. Yeah. Like, go. I'm not Truce. If you listen to this, this is just to be funny. This ain't no serious shit. I don't know what we talking about, Truce. <sighs> I'm gonna talk about it. You ain't got to. Right, here we go. I'm gonna respond. Right. I don't know what we talking about. I'm just gonna respond. All right. So this is what's going on. All right. Because I won't. I just want to have the discussion about what it's about because I think artists need to hear this. It's the only reason why I'm talking about it. I'm not okay. being messy. Yeah. Yeah. My nigga Damo swear I'd be being messy. I'm not being messy. I just no, want to have I the conversation. Sure, All right. So you shot a video. And when the fuck is the video coming out? Mm, no, just yet. It's a real out. I enjoy the real. Okay. You shot a video at a location mm-hmm. 
that True shot his video. An undisclosed location. Mm-hmm. And he and, and 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 he was upset. He said, "Who fucking bright idea was this?" He was a. Bo- That's was what a, he told he was a, me. He was a, <laughs> my boy was a little bothered. My boy was a little bothered. It's, it's, it's uh, what they say, he ruffled his feathers a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, wasn't sure. happy about that. Yeah, he appreciated that. So I just want to have the. I just want to have the discussion. It's not really a beef. I was joking. But I mean, you know, he, I just want to have the discussion. He has the artistic integrity to feel the way he feel. I can respect the way he feels. Nah, but let's talk about that. Like, to an is, extent. does an artist own a location? No, 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 no. It's not about Why that. Why do artists feel that but way? But I, I can understand that an artist is sensitive. That I felt that's just him being sensitive about his shit. And I can understand that. Now, to the extent of it, that goes to each individual. And they can yeah. still be tripping. But I can respect where he's coming from on it. You know what I'm saying? I want to tell a quick story. Oh, okay. Don't let it in like the last one. No, it's what? not. I'm no not Patreon doing that again. Stories. That one was a little dangerous. <laughs> this one, this one was a quick story. I hope uh, Native Sounds don't care about me telling this story. Mm. But they shot, shot a video. Shout out Native Sounds, man. Shout out Native Sounds. They shot a video in Atlanta one time, and an artist posted on Instagram. I guess he used hashtags, and he, uh, you know, hashtagged his video at the same location they used. Mm. Literally, like, some of the same shots, too. And they was going in and, and bro comments like, yeah, woody woody woo. And me, when they told me about it, you know, I'm the type of nigga that's gonna research some shit before I say something about it. And I looked it up. This not only did this nigga shoot his video before theirs, he put his video out before they even shot theirs. Before like their idea for the video was even a thing. And that's when I told them I like, you know. A artist doesn't own a location. Oh, yeah, like sure niggas that, that shoot though. videos, niggas that shoot any kind of content, you know, has an yeah. idea for where he wants to shoot and might use it twice. Yeah. Like matter of fact, I got two photo shoots tomorrow I gotta do, and I'm using the same location for both of them, and I've used that location at least thirty times before. Yeah. I mean who's to say like even if you like <coughs> overly passionate about your craft, right? Even if you like super hands on with that shit where you're doing everything to help bring it to life, right? If you got that much respect to make your vision come true. That means you care overall about the craft. You feel me? So if you care enough about that and you respect it that much, how are you going to try to, I guess, you know, feel type way about a person that's doing the same thing as you? Yeah. Because that's all they're trying to do the same. They're trying to get all their vision the same. We're trying to get yours off. You know what I'm saying? There's no ownership in that shit. How many people shot their videos on Broad Street? Uh, you feel me? That's what everybody say, like too. So, I mean, just anywhere, nigga. Nigga, there are places you can rent a set. 30 niggas on really should be set. on some shit like damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you a smart ass motherfucker. Like, oh, you found that shit? I thought it was dope too. So It's really paying like, homage. Yeah, yeah, it's like a big up. It's like, yeah, I fuck I know you shit. probably didn't even see the video. His video. True's video? Yeah. Yeah, I seen, I seen it. Okay. I mean, it came out a minute ago. I mean, I, I, mean, I watched him. So I seen him put clips out about it for sure. I mean, even with that, I didn't know niggas was originally shooting there until we shot there. But even while shooting there, niggas talked about your vid. Niggas talked about your vid as we were shooting there. Oh, you shot truth. the vid. No. Oh, no, I'm pointing the truth with it at the camera, man. Okay. 420 but, um, shot it. Yeah, 420 shot So even as we were shooting it, niggas were discussing the vid. Like, yeah, okay, then I ain't, noticed, I ain't never been in this motherfucker. Just, you know, shooting shit while shooting, but I ain't step on no toes. And I don't think nobody stepped on toes. We Let all just creatives being talk. creative. You say what, nigga? Let them fucking bars talk. We all just creatives Uh-oh. being creative. We all creative. to spark the beef. <laughs> no, nah, ain't beef. no beef. <laughs> my boy too. I fuck with you. We all just creatives being creative. That's how my scene true. I fuck I with, with my nigga, man. But um, I think I think the biggest issue was something that True's got going on with somebody else that ain't had nothing to do with me nor him. It's just a lot I, I'm going not gonna on. speak for them. Yeah, it's just a I don't lot know if that's beef or not. I don't know what the hell. I that call is. a stray. I call a stray. Yeah. But damn, that's my boy, I, I ain't gonna flesh it though. I wish you would have came and been a part of the video. I say you had an obligation with humanity. But, you know what I'm saying? I wish you would have came to the part. Shit was dope. We still made some shit happen. And shit. Once again, thanks for the feature on the record. Yeah. It's thanks good to know saying. that people in Augusta, like, care about their music that much. Like, that's sure. just on some. Even, I, even if there's some, like, competitive rap scene type shit. Not, like, on some battle but shit. But rap is competitive. Just music, yeah. Because everybody. It's nice to know that it's competitive in the city type shit. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be it's gonna give you good music. See, I don't be looking at people's shit and be like, I'm trying to be harder. Yeah. I mean, but nigga, that one, that hold on, nigga, that one ain't the viewpoint of this. I no, no, I'm, oh. yeah, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> that nigga stirring the pot. No, 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 no. I'm just saying like it's nice to know that 
as my video. Uh, that's my yeah. set. You know what I'm saying? Well, I you know, we energy. ended up finding out, and I'm not speaking for nobody, but we ended up finding out like it had something to do with like <laughs> truths being being uh, narcissistic or whatever word was used. And it's like, you know, oh, no, no cocky, go not narcissistic, crazy cocky. Oh, somebody shit. said choose was cocky. Uh, or arrogant or something. And, shit. and you know, it I might be, be some truth behind that. I be on Facebook sometimes. It might be like some that. truth behind it, you know. My my opinion, personally, um, you can be cocky. We all gotta be cocky. Everybody always says, as a rapper, you have to be. You gotta be over <laughs> But cocky. I don't know if you, if you have to be. I think you probably should be. Have isn't the word to use. But should, maybe... And I don't think Trues is like an over cocky nigga. No, see, like, no, okay. People, p- people give him a bad rep for like who he is because like you just have to understand where he comes from. It's with his it. passion. Yeah, it's his yeah. passion, and he's really just sensitive about the shit yeah. that he does. Yeah. He's just sensitive about it, as everybody probably is. Yeah, that's and, why when he hit me up, I kind of, I kind of understood it. I can understand. But it, he do man. be in his Kanye bag though. I will say that he be. In but his I fuck with Kanye, and niggas can be misunderstood, and that's very stressful. What y'all think about the Kanye? Hardly ever understood. Hardly ever understood. Okay. Mm. Same thing. Hardly Clap, ever noticed. Take truths in here. Ooh, hardly ever slept. Okay. No, 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 no. Hardly ever slept on. Yeah. There you go. Okay. There we go. Truths in here. That would be a good one. That'd I'm be a, a great one, actually. I'm gonna eat you up, true. <laughs> That'd be a great one because I, I love to see how shit. y'all would go back and forth, like on the. On It'd the be track. good shit though. It'd be good shit. And we both, I can say, we both got. A high level of respect just for the crowd, so it'll be fun. It'll be some good fun shit. I feel like it's kind of overdue. We lollygagging bullshit around, but yeah, we y'all need to that. make that happen. Cause Trues is a super passionate person about his craft, and yeah. you, you obviously are. Yeah, in my own little unique way. Yeah, yeah. Trues more vocal about it. Yeah, I just be chilling because I never got to put the pod out because uh, Cooks fucked the pod up, but I did a pod with Trues. And I was talking about how he was on he was on Ace Creek arguing about Cooks. something. And oh, yeah, he said, I am Augusta. And I wanted that to come out so bad. What? Cooks that nigga said up, he's man. Augusta? Cooks. Yeah, he was just mad. He was just mad. Yeah. <laughs> so that boy on his goddamn... Uh, Cooks fucked it up, That's man. That's that Kanye shit. I, that boy on I am King yeah. Kong. That boy on his uh, Denzel shit. He don't remember saying it, though. But I dead ass remember him saying it. He was on one. I fucked my yeah. boy. But man. yeah, that's his Kanye shit. How y'all feel about the Kanye shit, though? About what Kanye got going on right now. Let's talk about that a little bit. I'm going to let y'all get y'all take. Because if I get my take, you know what I'm saying? This might go up. Got a lot of tapes. I got a lot of tapes. So I don't know. Uh, go ahead. I don't I'm know ready. Thing, man. We, got, we got all day. I ain't got Over, shit to do. I, I kind of seen my key fighting the Illuminati. Uh-oh. The higher power, the higher people. Uh, uh. This nigga Maul be at the mm. house burning sage Mm-mm. with his tinfoil hat. No, Watch it man. ain't the Illuminati. It is yeah, it's a high, a high. Bro, power, Augusta though. had one, bro. I think I'm, Augusta had one for real. Like, oh, what? A little circle of niggas that run the clubs and music, and you oh, weren't okay. getting in yeah, 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 unless yeah. you went through that circle. Who was it? That's bro, not, you I mean, had like um, Stokes, P Nice. Shout out P Nice. I knew these niggas. I knew these niggas like, you was going to say. But back then, you got to think, like, back then, who was really. You couldn't like now you go and you see a, a different so artist. So niggas was the Illuminati. I'm uh, not like that, but it's like, <laughs> entertainment. Like, I, got you, yeah, like, I got you. Now you you go to it's a different. They call it the gatekeeper. Yeah. There now, you go. Now mm-hmm. you'll see different artists performing every other week. Back then you didn't see that shit unless you was Plug making them some money. Unless you was making them some oh, money. They fuck with you. They fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So Back to the Kanye though, man. What you? What, so what you it seemed like he fighting that little circle. But it seemed like he got himself into that shit by just talking too much. But he could be a nigga that's just not laying down and talking whatever. I don't even know. I, don't I feel know like the shit on. he talking about, he's portraying for you live and living color, but niggas just ain't catching. I feel like the nigga he be talking about in interviews, he really be talking about himself, you feel me, to an extent. He just kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of a struggle being misunderstood, yeah. bro. And he, he could he be doing some shit just for, he could be doing a lot of that shit just to, Prove shit, like the shit I'm saying. Right, like these people are. Yeah, that's that what he doing. You know what I'm saying? Exactly what he doing. He could just be like he don't even have no problem going on, <clears throat> but he want to be like the mirror to show everybody else what's going on, and now it's causing him problems. It's shit like okay, like I mean the nigga a deep thinker to me. You feel me? Cause Sway had the fucking answers, man. He said yeah, that, that. He came back and said that. It's a, it's a chain of events. It's shit like okay, what's the first thing? Okay, when he said slavery was a choice, right? Okay. In that moment when he said it, 
it upset black people or whatever, okay? Then he did like the White Lives Matter thing. Think about all the crazy shit he did, right? Think about all the people it upset it, right? Okay. Now think about the shit he just did, right? Think about the people he upset it. And now he's counseled. So he's kind of like showing you like, yeah, you, we really don't matter. That's kind of what he's showing you to an extent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to talk about this for them to give a fuck. I could say, fuck y'all, all y'all want. They don't care. They going to keep giving me whatever the fuck. They ain't going to counsel me. So basically you saying he can shit on niggas all day. Nobody gives a fuck. But as soon as he shit I feel on... Like, I feel like he's, trying, he's trying to show niggas... We already knew that, though. He's trying to show niggas Before who... He did that. He trying to, I feel like to this thing, he's trying to show niggas who kind of got the keys and trying to show niggas we need to get our own set. But hold up, though. He definitely a little weird. Do y'all, do y'all really believe a nigga... Would self sabotage himself out of losing damn near a quarter to half a billion dollars to prove a fucking point that don't none of I us give a fuck this. about. I will ask you this: from a nigga that got all that empire, you said you watched the documentary. Yes. Okay. You Great seen, documentary, actually. So you seen how once he was viewed, so he came from that, and now he has this. Mm-hmm. He got all that from this. Mm-hmm. So if he lose this, this is still there. Can get that shit back. That's that earthy shit. Or, or, or even, even deeper. Maybe once he got all See, that. See when he asked Buddy, "Are you rich? Do you have more money? Then why would I listen to you? You should be listening to me. Then maybe." And then it's, I mean, money. past that, it's the way he got it. He got his money off being creative. Overall, that's all that shit come creativity. See, Shoes, that boy clothes, up his sketches, shirts, all that shit. So he popped. You didn't see that? Yeah, but they ain't fuck with him. Yeah. Sketches ain't want nothing to do with that it's crazy with, shit. Man. I want to say, sometimes you just... It really just, ain't over with. He's a little emotional. Even with that, ain't no such oh, thing Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean it's over with like that. I just meant yeah. like as far as with the sketches shit. Yeah. But nah, did y'all see the... So you, you think he ain't going to no, get another shoe deal? Yeah, later. So what are we talking about? Uh, but well, see, I don't believe in cancel uh, uh, cancel culture. Cancel culture yeah. I don't. Be- I don't think there's a such thing. Because Brown as beat Rihanna, up, and now we where we at. See what I'm saying? There's no such thing know. as cancel culture. Like dead ass, I wouldn't be surprised if Bill Cosby don't come out with a fucking TV show. Has there ever? You know been a, what I'm saying? Has there ever been an artist cancel canceled? Culture. No, ain't nobody ever been canceled. So okay, and by that you mean what? Okay, it's canceled. Completely like, canceled. Like the baby. I feel, like, I, feel like, a I, feel like, I feel like they canceled them to the public image. Yeah. But as that's far as being canceled, extent. nah, that's not canceled, bro. Canceled is you you get everything taken away from you. Donald Sterling was not canceled. Donald Sterling sold his business okay, but for like, a big profit margin okay. and just put it, reinvested his money into something else, probably stocks. And he probably getting his dick sucked on the yacht right now. See, but My with rappers, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> With rappers, it's different. You got to do a dick sucker count on some shit. Yeah. Hey, weak. but rappers is different. Man, like, it's like, that's why I say even with Ye Ye, Ye showing you like, these motherfuckers feel like they got the power to counsel you. Yeah. Even with that, it's like, it's deeper than just deeper. It's like, you sh- they shouldn't even have that power on what trying to wake niggas up and show you who feel like they got the power to just sw- hit a switch. How you can counsel a rapper, I can make it to where I can hit a switch and... All your endorsements are gone. All your promotion is gone. The people that's behind you aren't to the extent they can stall you out. They can make it more harder for you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could cancel you. I could push a button and the machine is kind of moving slower than what it was. So is R. Kelly canceled? True in this thing. And you know why I say he canceled? In the public image, he's canceled. He's not promoted. He ain't pushed nah, up. Nah, I got a better he one. I got down. a better one. They playing his music, but... You put it. You can't go. Show, on YouTube. Kelly, gonna say R. Kelly is it. not canceled. You can't really find it on YouTube. R. Kelly is man. not canceled. Well, he's not canceled. I'm talking about public image wise. It is because he's frowned upon. The person Robert Kelly has a criminal charge and is in jail and is, is going to be in jail for a long time. The business, the brand R. Kelly is not canceled. I can go listen to Honey Love right now. See, but he the, doesn't even own his fucking music. <laughs> so you can't completely cancel a business when the person who you're canceling but doesn't I even own like their name. Yeah, they it, don't it, own it's their it's business. It's their choice. It's their choice to either like, like, like Ma said, like you. It's more difficult to find them on YouTube now. It's little shit they can do to make it to make it hard. Like, of course they ain't gonna cut the music hey, chill off. Chill out, bro. Mm-hmm. Nigga, yeah. Chill out. Nah, keep Robert free Kelly. R. Kelly. I ain't say free Robert Kelly. I said free R. Kelly. Oh, okay. Free yeah. his vocals the and music, mental. Yeah, the music and shit. Free the yeah. vocal and Child mental. 3DL, man, when they play that slow dance Keep my nigga on mentally. Saturday night, 
you will see me on Snapchat or somewhere. I'm had a video. I'm gonna, everybody gonna be singing. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. My beef with uh, R. Kelly is is kind of personal <coughs> because of the old niggas when I was in ninth grade that was fucking bitches in my grade. You wanted that pussy. Yeah. That shit pissed me off. Niggas to pull up though, in they box. Was Chevy's. R. Kelly fucking like 15, 16 year olds? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga hang out at McDonald's. He ain't hang out at no man. Nigga, the, the mall. He yes, used to go to the mall did, picking up nigga. little girls. He was hanging out at McDonald's. At McDonald's. At McDonald's, bro. the mall. He used to post up at McDonald's. And fuck 15 and 16 year olds. I mean, just yeah. catch him and They had the girls on the um, He got the ice on. I thought them hoes was like 18 and shit like that. Nah, they was like six, 15, 16, 17 when they was fucking him. That nigga going around in the McDonald's. The girls on the trial. They was kids, right. bro. That nigga buying Big Macs with shit. dick on the 16. side. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> with the dick on the side. That nigga ball about to Mick, justify him fucking 17 year old. Go ahead, Ma. You got it for him. Yeah, you nah, want to make dick? I ain't going to set myself up. I'm not fucking <laughs> over there. You no 15 year old. No 16 year old. I ain't fucking nothing that's oh, under 21. I ain't going to lie. I might bust a little night. Yeah, I was about, about to say. Like, you know that boy said you want to make dick. It depends, when it depends I was, what when, she on. When I was 19, I was hitting a 17 year old. Most likely, but Kels ain't nineteen. Yeah. I can't, I can't, um, I can't How crucify you for that at all. No. So Kels was like 25, 26 hitting this shit. Like. Bitch, you be lying yeah. too. You really gotta pull that idea. I ain't gonna lie. Fact. Keep it in the book, fella. If we was R. Kelly peers at that time, oh no, I would have been on some shit. No, you know, Pat, we be like some bro. Even if he wasn't R. Kelly, I would have been on some. He'll be, be a, he's a lame ass nigga. Like bro, you a grown ass man. You can't even get bitches your age. Yeah. So where you just wanna I hit a young gent one time on ass then she wasn't fifteen though, sixteen like that. Like she was seventeen or something. I was like twenty two. But that bitch tricked the fuck out of that me. That boy was at McDonald's. Ben I woke up. Block. My dick was just in their big hand. Seven in the morning, just I'm like, fuck. In the hand. Might gotta edit that part out too. Edit that motherfucker. <laughs> Time step, yeah, yeah. One nineteen. This nigga was at McDonald's. When I found out she was seventeen, though, I never talked to her again until she was like eighteen, nineteen. Then I started. Oh, so you redshirted her? Huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, did that. I'm the only thing I seen her again. I just seen her at a pool party. It was on. What that thing called? It was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. Seventeen legal, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We ain't got. I'm not hitting no seventeen. I don't worry about those type of questions. Cause I'm not even I'm not nowhere like that barrier. Women. I mean, but he's speaking of, from, from being a 22 year old. 22 year old. So I yeah. get it. I love like my, us right now. We probably we probably never even be around people that age. Nah. I love my girl, man. I thought you weren't allowed to talk about your girl. She, I ain't saying no name. Like, I can talk. I can say I love my girl. I can say I love my girl. I can talk about it in depth. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't even really, see you know? y'all. Y'all kind of made me feel bad because I wasn't even gonna talk about her at all. I was just gonna. Talk I mean, about you were there for the start of this. Elevation from elevator. I was. Yeah, folks winning. Yeah. You was. seen me get on the on the on the elevator, nigga. Yeah. The elevator. I mean, I just been going up. Oh, been okay. rising. Oh, oh, see that nigga. That's that earthy shit. That nigga be speaking. This nigga be killing me with that earthy, earthy shit. shit. Like I'm on some J Cole shit yeah. in this bitch or something like. Shout out Big Reed. Like, what is the dimming of the light, Slim? I can't record under this light. I watch they love blossom. It's a great love. My awesome. baby, man, I love him. Yeah. Next song on the record. What's the next on the tape? <laughs> I thought I thought we went through it already. I, don't know. I just want to switch it up. I love you though, baby. Elevated. Yeah, we actually went through it. That's your we favorite song though. You said I fought with it. I know. I just I just be feeling it like, bro. I'm just a sucker for for a sample. Bro, I'm gonna tell and some, you this. And some, and some love words. You know, I don't know the whole words. That ain't my favorite name. I'm gonna tell Jane, you the hardest right. song on there. Let me know. I was like, damn. I'm elevated. Sure elevated the hardest one, bro. Elevated and uh, heavy as the head. Those are the hardest First ones. Time. Yeah, I like. Uh, That's what that stand for, right? Heavy as the head. <laughs> my favorite song is that. Song. This the hardest song. Yeah, that's baby. my favorite song. Urban Legend. Yeah, that's oh, my favorite song. Yeah, I like that one too. I like the sample in that one. But uh, I fuck. Yeah, I like PTSD. I like uh, how many all different little shits. I really like the uh, PTSD Indulu. is deep too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the deepest song. Yeah, a lot of niggas fucking with that shit. I fuck with that urban legend, man. Yeah, that's my favorite song. I think that's the outro. Would you consider yourself a rapidy rap nigga? Because yeah. my nigga Big King asked me, what you a rapidy rap nigga? Big who? Big King. It's my daughter. He's a wild podcast. boy. He's a wild boy, too. I'm all of the above. I'm that. I'm that. What's a rapidy rap rapper? Yeah, yeah, say that. Like the baby. <laughs> the baby. Oh, yeah, name, like, name your rapidy rap rapper. 
uh, J. Cole. Oh, for sure. Kendrick. I rap better oh, than them okay. niggas. I rap better than them niggas. Rapidly rap niggas. I rap better than You niggas. said the baby. Why you said the baby? What was your like? Because this shit. What was your understanding of a rapidly rap nigga? Like, the baby kind of lame. Can we talk about the baby? That's what I'm talking about. Like, he kind of lame and shit. shit yeah, man. like he do, he do shit that like sells, but yeah. like we really ain't fucking with. It's like he make a song that shit don't need hard, don't be hard. Cause it sound the same, but then he try to make an animated video to make the song. The video sell the song, yeah. and then he canceled, goes and does man. an interview, and he just say corny shit. You heard that got, freestyle and that flit shit? Canceled, I thought it was whack, but a it lot was, of niggas it said was it was great hard. until he just started trying to put a too whole many bunch of words in one. That's sentence. what I said, that's bro. Right, bro. That shit that's got exactly what I said. Too I many listen, words. I wouldn't play at the bar. baby. I wouldn't play at the baby. I ain't playing the baby album in my shit though. I wouldn't play a fun flesh freestyle. Have y'all seen his interview? With academics, Ack is getting real good with interviews. He did one with academics. Yeah, he even was dressed corny as fuck. Like he ain't finna wear that shit. No regular. Yeah, the little French hat and shit. Oh no, that's how he did that with Ebro. He he wore that on Ack too. He wore it. It had to be a run. The whole. Oh, he on his Black Panther shit out there. Yeah, a little press run. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, he basically asked him about him fucking Meg. He doubled down on that shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And got down, he was like, did you know she was fucking Tori when you was fucking her? And he was like, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't my business. Yeah. And I was like, and he was like, I really ain't want to talk about that shit, but, but they did. made me. And I'm like, nigga, but you did. And he was like, and he was like, I don't know, partisan might be a cool nigga, who knows? I was like, bro, that shit's so corny, bro. I, I, saw spot, I got spot, I'm going to watch that shit. Cheat that, shit out. that shit just corny. I don't like shit like that, bro. It's just like. Hey, what the fuck? This out of nowhere, though, but what the fuck is going on with that case? Which one? She Tory? lied on Big Tour. I'm saying like, what happened? I thought it was going to court a oh. couple months ago. That shit just went away, my nigga. I don't know if this some My boy on house shit. arrest right now. Yeah, he on house arrest for that August Alcina shit. For sure. Until he go to court. He goes to court yeah. next month. Yeah. And this is for August Alcina? Is it next month or January? It's either next month or January. He's on remember. house arrest for the August shit, but he going, going to court, court for court. mega shit. Finally. Megan lied. He ain't shoot that bitch, man. Big Tour. I ain't gonna lie. I will counter sue the fuck out of him. I'm gonna let you know right now. If, if she he fucked gets up found his not motion. guilty, yeah, he's can't. going to countersue her. Yeah, no if, And he's bro. going to countersue her for he gotta millions. He got to take all that shit. At least 30, 40. She yeah, fucked his wave up. Yeah, he lost a lot of money. Yeah, lost a lot of Even though money. he still be going number one, he still lost a lot of money. But I don't like, that's when he was like, yeah. that shit was like, he was finna really reap all oh, the Oh, no. Benefits. He was about to get TV deals yeah. with that fucking, um, that, uh. Quarantine radio Quarantine radio. There we go. I was about to call it pandemic radio. But quarantine radios. That shit was going crazy. That shit was going crazy. I'm going to tell you right now, man, just because I was on my Drake shit last podcast, I'm going to just put this in there. Big Tour, top five right now, man. He's a top 10, top 10, top 10. I'm going to say 10. Top 10 for sure. You're a lovey dovey guy, Paul. Rap. He rap better than half these niggas. Nah, you like his slow shit. You like his chicks tapes. Huh? All them was hard. Most of them were hard. That one hard. No, hard. One hard. I'm saying though, I can give you though, a whack. I can give you a Tory album that I ain't really listen to like that. Like that. The one about the Megan shit was kind of whack. My nigga Ma need, the need way, some the love. The Megan shit was straight. For the love of Ma. Right. For the love of Ma. Playboy is the hardest. Um, hey, you need to do a, a podcast. I might need to. Just niggas named Ma that look like you. Like y'all just podcast. He got me like weak. Because he's like Ma from. How much, yeah. how much you going to try me to do a little podcast? Oh, we can talk about that, but you really. Oh yeah, it's an off camera conversation. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't want nobody else. Saying, <laughs> we can talk about yeah, that. Yesterday's price ain't today's price. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah, man. Big Tour. I'm saying he we rap better than most of these niggas too. Yeah, you gotta have a pie. He's straight. Takes time, like that. Though. I'm not saying I disagree with you. I'm not yeah, disagreeing at all. He hard. I feel he can like he can start a conversation. Like, the shit he's saying he can start a and conversation. He can't really sing, but he sing better than most of these niggas that can sing. Your boy can't sing neither at all. Who's my Drake? Hell no. He can harmonize. It sound good. Toy sing way better than him. Yeah. But you know who sound worse than both of them put together? Who? Drink some more. I ain't never heard him really do it. <sighs> he has. Brother, I'm going to let you know that shit sound horrible, but when they, <laughs> when they come out with speakers, though. <laughs> that shit magic them all. Like, what the fuck? I, I told y'all last podcast, I was like, I wait no good weekend, too. Wait no good weekend, too. I don't know what. Bro, he going to listen to this whole pod. An hour and 26 minutes, probably shorter than that because I got to cut the story yeah. out. But waiting for his name to be said, and he finally going to hear it. And it's oh, like yeah. you saying that. I don't know what he did the good weekend to, though. What the fuck happened to good weekend? Because the listing Man. that WAP had in the computer? Check this out. It's hard. This nigga called me one night, had me come to his crib. For a listening party. <laughs> to play songs, to pick he out. He did that every songs. night for two weeks. I think he did with boys. It's one of niggas over at the crib, I think, bro. Mm-hmm. 
Help me, tell me. I, I done put out a whole. He order. probably ain't putting them songs in though. Didn't nigga? It never Cause came. WAP had already did the goddamn playlist. Yeah, the WAP playlist was hard. He put songs that was just I was like, what the fuck? He ain't put. Did he put me at nightclub on there? Of course. Wait, it came out. Hard. Good weekend too. Yeah, it was on YouTube. Right? No, he didn't. It never came out. What came out? It's something that came that out on YouTube. That was day drinking. He called it day drinking. Okay, okay. It was supposed okay. to be like an EP or something. Okay, well, so uh, yeah. drink some more. No more day drinking. We need good weekend too. <laughs> no more day drinking. Sure. Nigga, we need music from Mo. Yeah. Fuck drinks on them. We need music yeah. from them. Yeah. Now, nah, only thing you getting from Mo is drinking. And not drinks on um, Mo. Miss Animo. Drink Animo. What's that, Sean? I'm mad in Houston. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Chill out. West. No, that shit don't get no bang oh, on this pod. That this part get edited out. Talk about your beat that shit. shit out. Damn. So you don't play at Midnight Club? No. So you telling me, let me ask you this question. If I do a show, all right? Mm-hmm. And he brings James on who would you Who would you see me? If I did a show, me and three artists. Three artists. Name me three artists. That's easy. Lil Nah. Trues. And one more. I, gotta yeah, I need the perfect more. blend. I need the perfect blend. I don't want it too earthy. I really want to say, the I motherfucker really say mayo. I don't want it that humanity, so it ain't going to be too earthy now. It's going to be like a show. You feel me? Man, I need Lil Nye, Trues, and Mayo and Koala. Both of them. That's too much like Legends Ball. We did that. Nah, it ain't like Legends Ball. That's, That's some different. of the same roster. I need, it's different, though. I need McHale on that roster. Ooh, Mikael, that's a there. good one. That's a great I'm one. I'm saying this is a real question. Now. That's a real question. Come on. Brain, if, if Mikael, Brain Slim, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great one. Mikael is my favorite artist. I mean, yeah, it would have tough. to be those type of artists, though. See, I tried to make it like versatile. You gave, you gave me two. I mean, I it can be lie. versatile. Mikael and Hen is like. It can, it can be versatile, like, but shit. You got that's it. somebody else you need to do some music with. Hey, my boy. We yeah. got songs. I'm waiting on some Mikael vocals together. right now. Bro, that nigga, we talking about hard living notice and underrated. That nigga there, bro. He's definitely there. Yeah. I don't know why he's so underrated, though. I don't know neither. Because he's hardly ever noticed. That's why. Yeah, I think when you fly you the know radar, about him and you, and you ain't in you, niggas' faces yeah. flashing the money and showing the guns. and We're the older artists. We're the more mature artists. Yeah. Niggas really got shit going on. People not going to listen to that shit. Not me. I'm people not the shit we care put out. Because this shit is dope. It's going to be a certain type of younger people, and then it's going to be us who appreciate music. Right, that boy but anybody who appreciates good music is going to listen right to me. Mikhail. He be my top three right now. It got like to a point where I used to be writing songs. Yeah, I be on that, bro. I need you to sing this shit. What about Floyd? You shit. won't tell me to do a show with you won't tell me. F Floyd Dirty on that bitch. F Dirty, Floyd in the sky. I seen some shit with him like when he was in the water. Like, I showed you that shit, water. though. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah. The, uh, in that the shit garden. Was, yeah, that shit was that crazy. That boy was snapping. Yeah. I think I think Augusta needs to Give me three artists, man. Give me three artists. I'm going to do this shit. Hold on, though. Hold on, Hold on, though. I don't think you can put on a show in Augusta right now. And I don't mean you. I mean, like, yeah, be artists, like period. I mean, no, I, mean, I just artists. mean artists, period. Because, like, bro, you know what we missing? Augusta is missing, like, a culture. And the culture, like, I love the direction the culture was going in Sky City. That shit yeah. was going in a great direction. I don't know what it was about Sky City, but it's yeah, like, bro, niggas was. was coming out to see local artists. That's what I wanted because I tell people all the I time. I missed that scene. I, I did a show in that bitch. I remember that shit. Bro, you might have did. Yeah. Bro, because I remember I went to Tampa for the first time I around that time. And they had a local night at a club. And niggas was in there like it was a nigga that looked like Rick Ross, but he was Puerto Rican. Yeah. Looked just like Rick Ross, though, <laughs> but he was Puerto weird. Rican. And they was in there singing his shit word for word, my nigga. And, and you couldn't weird. tell me that nigga wasn't one of the biggest artists in the world. Yeah. They was in that bitch rocking out. It was hot, stinking that bitch. They were rocking out. Bruh, and then I came to Augusta, and that nigga Trues was at, was performing at Sky City, and it was that same type of vibe. Then Westside Hardy got on stage, that same type of vibe. What show was that? I don't oh, know yeah, what downtown show it was. Sky City. Like, they was like, yeah. there was a lot of people performing down there. Yeah. I don't remember what show it was because <coughs> I had I just moved to Augusta. Because Hardy was doing so shows with the fuck going shit on. down there. Yep. Yeah. I had just moved to Augusta, so I didn't know what was going on. I just got down, was downtown, seen the ass of people, went in there, yeah. seen the show. But... I love the direction that shit was going in. Yeah. And now it's like Libra canceled uh, Culture Fest for this year. So it's like, what what local artists doing this year? Bro, I'm going to do a show, bro. 
I'm gonna do people it for can our show, bro. People can link in and do their own shit, though. Think about this. I agree. What artist really has done a show here? Like their show, all, and it's like I mean they put it. I mean I, I get true with that. Yeah, like they put it. Did Bar. I was about to say not true. a club event type shit. Yeah, I say true. Did some L.A. Russell Bar. shit, man. Shout out that boy. Man. Yeah, like some L.A. Russell shit. Yeah. Some real shit. I think um shout out to Art Dealer too. Art Dealer does shows also. Um, like I think when it comes to being an artist, especially an independent local artist, and I meant to talk about this. I'm uh, I'm glad I thought of this. It's all about it, it's all about investing. And it's all about marketing and knowing like where to put your dollars at, how to do things, how to get sponsors, how to get people to fuck with you, how to get back to the people that fuck with you and also get from the people that fuck with you. And a lot of artists just don't really do that. Like I was going I was going to ask you because um I had a conversation with somebody recently and um I didn't disagree with what they said, but it was just a little differently. Excuse me, it was a little it made me think a little different. We was talking about how like you know, you've been putting a lot of work in. You shooting video after video. Mm-hmm. You got this project. That shit sounded great too. And I mm-hmm. said instantly, I said, "Damn, I forgot this nigga King makes this shit." Because I can tell when he makes oh, some shit, the levels is just shout out to King, shout out to shout out to XP too, because XP five too. Shout out to them boys. Boy, Hell yeah. Boy. But um, mixed gods. Yeah, but um, so the person was like, "Man, that nigga him must got some bread, nigga, because his music shit takes some money." See what I be saying? I, I ain't that count no pockets. I'm not in my Charlemagne bag. We didn't talk about that shit before. I'm not, I'm not in my Charlemagne bag. I'm not counting no pockets. Ahead, go ahead. I'm not about to ask you how much money in your bank account. No, nah, we just talking about that type. I'm not about to ask you if you a Man. drug dealer. No, None no, of that no, no. Charlemagne type of shit. But like, do you think like somebody could do the same things you're doing, but on a budget? I mean, I'm doing it. The fuck you? I mean, what you mean? Nah, these niggas, these niggas, bro. The street saying he ain't got a lot of money, man. The streets are saying he, he ain't got a shit. lot of money. <laughs> we got hair in this bit. Oh, <laughs> nah, I'm just being honest, oh, nah, oh, nah, bro. Nah, bro you, make it, you make it look crazy now. You make nah, it look y'all crazy. Y'all niggas is crazy. That's what's wrong. Hey man, it. it's a me- it. it's a method to the madness, but, man. Man, look here. This nigga here, he's stirring pot even deeper with the goddamn <laughs> wizardry. Speech. Yeah, man, Huey, man, Huey merchandise. But, man. Uh, <laughs> Nah, bro. I mean, I, look, bro, like you say, bro. Okay, prime example. A low, Augusta nigga. You feel me? I fuck with him. I try to keep it local, bro. Well, I know it's love. You feel me? So I fuck with him. Of course, I got to spin, but I know it's, it's it come with business. You feel me? Shit, him, King. So yeah, you definitely can do it because I'm doing. It. I ain't spending it's no hell of a budget. lot of money. He got yeah. a different budget. I can pass that. It ain't even about the money. It's really about relationships, cause, bro. Because yeah, 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 yeah. to be one hundred. Them boys will fuck with me because they know I care about the shit I do. So, like, when they do put their hands on my shit, they going to go, as, you know what I'm saying, a certain way. They going to go as hard as they can because they fuck with my shit. They know I care about my shit. Don't get it twisted, though, man. Yeah. He going but over, you got to spend gonna, the win, saying, you yeah. feel me? But, I mean. Because that boy. You got to do it. Go to the down, eight. Man. Say, oh, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Man, just, yeah. Oh, you saying so he ain't do got that bread. We ain't rich. We, ain't nah, we have, talking about it's it just like a budget. Making it your shit look passion. good. Like, you know it what just what say saying? passion, like, bro. If you got passion, yeah, you gonna make it. You, like, you gonna make it. Day, I wasn't gonna. I you wouldn't. Me? And I, I don't sacrifice shit just to make it happen. First, I don't buy. I'm not. I ain't gonna really be. I ain't gonna really book studio time because I don't write no raps down. So it's never gonna be a day where I come in the studio and what I'm finna say is already prepared. I don't want to sound like I'm reading it. So I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to book a four-hour session because I might get two, three songs done in four hours. Might be, might be rushing. I mean, he got his money's worth, though. He got a yeah, whole yeah, EP. Sure. That's because it was all prepared. I mean, I went with go. See, me, I'd be spending more money if I wanted to do that because I'm not going to be prepared. And then, But God you got to spend the win. But I niggas, pay for a cameraman. Like he, you know, he do his shit the right way. Niggas ain't rich. That boy did buy a little niggas fit. Niggas ain't got no lie. money. Niggas ain't what got fit? no hold, hold, money. Hold, hold, hold. What fit he damn, my hold it. Niggas ain't got no money. Niggas oh, got. Oh damn! I kept you down here. My bad. I said I wasn't gonna count your pockets. I've been counting. We you. got jobs. Niggas got passion got and niggas got job. drive. That's yeah. what niggas got. And niggas Go make it work. happen. Either way, you know, so niggas make it happen. All right. So let me ask you one question, bro. And my bad, I lied to you. I am counting your pockets. Cha-ching. How much? How much? How much does the EP cost all together to put out market videos? A recording session, mix and master. Yes, how much I spent? That's how much did you spend for the whole right project? <laughs> what you got the receipt? Hmm? You got the receipt? <laughs> what is this you got? <laughs> this you got what, you, what you got over there, mom? What's know, going bro. on, man? 
a pretty penny nigga. You feel me? That yeah, yeah, see how pretty this motherfucker is. Guess oh, me. Bro. Just give me a number. Just give me a little number. Don't put my boy out like that. I mean, it's a great question. I really think I'll give you a number. What? T- take take a get what you think. I probably done spent music related. I know two thousand dollars in the last two months. And that and that's not just for one project. That's, that's just stuff for, that y'all ain't even seen yet. Like yeah. videos. Besides the video that I did just put out, but like videos, um throwing my boy some money for um let me record. Um, yeah. I mean, I done paid for three videos already. So, so here, answer based off that. Did you spend more than two thousand on that yeah, on that yeah, project? Spend more than two thousand. Really, sure. I'm really thinking about it because, like, just in the night of rec- that boy's about to shoot y'all a movie. Yeah. Now. Like the night of oh Whew. shit, like the night of recording just for the session, like with the session, just went to where I went, what I got while was, I was there. That boy got shit, this drunk boy. Shit, just was buying shit up there. Yeah. Put yeah. an extra hour. It was really five hours. Yeah, Might have do a B like side because he bought an extra hour for the boys, man. Just the vibe because I wanted yeah, to get so to it was really five hours. Uh, but no recording was going on. Y'all was just in there. That last hour, we just yeah, producers, there, producers in there, rappers in there. Shout out everybody in the bitch. Yeah. This nigga was in there. Low was in there playing his shit. Maul playing his shit. Young Trio playing his shit. Uh, my boy Paris Trey was playing his shit. People know about Young Trey. You know Young Trey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like bro music. That boy who said, um, is that, was that boy who said, um, I forgot what he said in that song. The line just stuck up to me. Like, Say Bo was at in first she was a fan, and I found out she was a freak, some shit like that. I was like, that's yeah, I mean, hard. Shout out to Sabo, he was in there. Shout out to 1K for yeah, taking Sabo. out a that's motherfucking That's my first time meeting Sabo. You feel that me? Paris nigga Shout was out to Sabo, that's too. my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Paris, was that Paris nigga hey, was man. hard, too. I invited good spirited, good energy niggas in there on two guard. I was in there, you feel me? Yeah, I just said, but yeah, first I found out she was a fan, and I found the beat hard Super producer JT. I want to ask y'all a question based off that line. And I want y'all to be honest. What's up? And him, please do not start talking about your girlfriend. I love you, baby. We speaking, we, yeah, we okay. speaking about past it's times. Life. I love you, Have baby. y'all ever fought with a girl that was a fan of you? Yeah. Sure. How did I, y'all feel about it? Make you feel good. Boy. Yeah, I don't feel oh, like Hold on, give him the mic. What'd you makes say? Makes you feel good, dog. Does it make you feel good, him? Yeah, I don't feel it's like, nice a, real, to know, I feel like a real rapper. Yeah, like times. I had a chick that just sent yeah, me yeah, video yeah. listening to my shit. I ain't even met her in person yet. I just yeah, I said, yeah, let to her me. know that she was not. <laughs> nah, nah. I just genuinely want to know that. Oh, oh yeah, for based sure. Based on that line he said, because I have, I have turned down some girls, and I've also fucked with some girls because that I podcast. could tell was. Yeah, Do you was get fans. podcast pussy? This is oh is man. Pod- I really got to start me a podcast. I got a, I got a girlfriend. I'm I'm in a relationship with Jesus. They keeping it a buck. But that nigga that mean, yeah, he get podcast yeah. pussy, man. Yeah, he but, uh, I know it's pod. See, I'm finna start a podcast. Oh, man. All right, he might be my boyfriend. I might be in the community. Shout out. <laughs> you be that okay. Shout out to Dumbo. Oh. <laughs> All right, I fuck with out, you. Drinks and more. I fuck with you, Dem. <laughs> get the drinks and more. You was about to say that for real, weren't you? <laughs> I fuck with you, Dem. Drinks and more. I fuck with you, my boy. <laughs> but nah. Okay. <gasps> Shit. Man, rock I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to tell too much, man. Rock out, rock out, man. All right, all right, all right. One Podcast time, pussy, man. I'm gonna start me up. One time, I was man. fucking with a girl, and got down. She was sucking me up. I might edit this. You shot. got to do the dick suck count on this. What? Damn, I you got you, bro. To. I got you. It's bro. gonna be so fun. Well, I got you. How many sucks could a dick sucker suck if a <laughs> dick sucker could suck dick? Yeah. But here we out though. Here we out though. I just gotta tell this story, bro. I kid you not, bro. And these niggas know about this already. She told you to put out the camera? Nah, she was sucking me up. And she stopped. And she looked up at me. And she said, did Charles and Quay break up? In the mid of topping you? Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I will it. say this. She wants to top them. Probably. Okay, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Hold up, let me, makes sense. That I can I'm pick that shit up it. real shit quick. I'm she want to top the whole game. Now. I give you even crazier top story. I done told you about damn. I love you, baby. I done told you about this shit, man. I'm finna start a fucking I'm in podcast, that, man. In the room with the jank. Oh, I got plenty more stories about that too. She yapping me, she yapping me. She <coughs> giving me that walk of flocker. She got them yak, 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 yak. Yeah. I'm laid down on my back. I'm feeling like a king in that bitch. Man. Bitch done threw up all over me. Oh, oh I had to have a little. No, but I was laying down on my back, so it just was like just like a shower, like just yeah. It be it be warm. 
<laughs> it was chunks and shit. Yeah, man, 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 man. Nah, man. Scorn me. But it depends. It depends what she like. Like the girl that threw up on me, she ain't had nothing but tequila, so it wasn't really no chunks. It was just a whole bunch of yeah. Most of time they be drunk though. They be drunk. Nut. Like they'll be knowing they. This nigga, they be got to pop up. Ding. This nigga. How many dicks up references will you? Again, we need to do a many... free giveaway, man. We'll give you fifty dollars if you can guess how many dicks up references this podcast is about to have. Man. I'm what? not going to this pod and doing a dick suck reference. Though. Comment your cash app. Comment, Comment your, your cash, cash app in the bro, comments. I did that with Grease before. What? A pod I did one of the first pods I ever did I did with Grease and I counted how many times he said you know what I'm saying it's still on my I think I remember that I got shit. a mixtape where I did that shit so bad like on my intro just like know what I'm saying know what I'm saying know what I'm saying like, I, just, I did a counter I think Grease got up to like 40 or 50 something I think I remember that shit yeah, it was, it was one of the first it's, it's one of the first videos on my channel how, how, like lo- six. how long you been doing podcast it says 200 episodes so how, how quick it took you to do 200 I ain't four years. I did way more than 200, though. I probably did almost 400. This to get your dicks up, podcast. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, but like that groupie shit is kind of, it's it, it's weird to me because it's like, nigga, it's not like you famous. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It gets weird. Because it's Cause not like you famous. start thinking that like, you having hoes and you really don't be having the hoes. They think and then got. they throw out words like popular. Yeah, popular. And I'll be like, what the fuck is popular? And then uh, they like. They get to calling a nigga a hoe. Yeah, that's the that's popular. That's what they mean when they call you. Jacob bitches want you. Yeah. But 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 it's like I, I don't, I don't consider myself a popular nigga. But it's like even though you know like sometimes you go places everybody know you, yeah. but I still don't feel like a it's popular. It's nice to know nigga. that she she think you popular. That's what it is. I ain't gonna lie, I got into it with a joint. She was like, I need to humble myself, put a little paragraph up here about me on Facebook. <laughs> but the moral story is <laughs> this is you how you you it. reflecting how you feel about me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you saying, I need to humble myself, but I don't act like a certain type of nigga. I just I'm cool, and you know if it's a certain type of level, bitch, I want then I want. So if I'm fucking you, then I might be fucking you, but I might not go at you because you don't meet relationship requirements. But I still fuck you if you want to fuck, you know, because you might want to fuck me. But you looking at it like I'm just bougie, whoop whoop whoop. I think, of, and you tell me I need to humble myself, but really that's just how you feel. When you look at me, that's your view of me. You feel like I'm popular, you know what I'm saying? So you fuck with me like that. Y'all. You really talking about yeah. me? That's your outlook. You basically just express. You exactly just how yeah I yeah. Feel you just mad because women. Yeah, so it's like that's your out. <laughs> that's your outlook. That nigga just said women. Yeah. Wow, wow. He- he kind of like got me following him now. It's really a million. I really should be on Million Dollar Work the Game. Like I should have came up. Nah, you should have your own shit. Yeah, I should have started that shit. Like, I mean, cause I be giving a lot of gems or some shit. You mean a hundred million dollars worth of game now? Yeah, yeah. You know what you call your shit? Gems with my two cents. My two. Let me give you my two cents. Yeah. yeah so sure. Let me give you my little thought. Are the pretty, so, penny. Oh. pretty penny? Oh, you know what? I might. Hey man, because a pretty penny will appeal to women. See, because I ain't going to, when I pod, if I podcast, I ain't going to podcast like artists and shit. I might have an artist come through, but I want to have like, if I do that, it's got to be like we thinkers and shit on that. Video. And good conversations of like the oh, shit could be talking to, but I'm talking about, but I don't want to go hard on. Well, let me issues. give you a little bit of advice. Yeah. Don't go into it with an overall. Oh, yeah, goal just let it flow. Yeah, yeah. Because it's never going to work out. Work out way. the way you want it to, yeah. I I would, if I did, I would have I'm like. I'm telling you that off experience. You know how brother had a round table? It'd be like a group of different, a different group of people every time. Yeah. And we'd just be talking about shit. Just, like you know, kind of kind of do like what they call a monologue. Yeah. And see how it go and then kind of form where you, the direction you wanted to go in after that. My boy could kind of put a on YouTube. That thing, Subscribers? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like my boy Cooks kind of put the brakes on the whole. Um, Kevin Samuels vibe. Yeah. I got five. He put the brakes in that a little bit. He ain't on the woman. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he ain't like where that was going. He should have interviewed a he should have interviewed a marriage counselor. Who then, Cooks? Yes. He Cooks yeah, we told, an interesting guy. We told Cooks who he told Cooks who he yeah. needed to interview. Who? It's a little You need pay. to do that. Yeah. No, nah, not him because Cooks with that's Cooks. That's yeah. fixed Cooks pod. Who? Put the ski mask it's on. A little page, face it's a little out. page on Facebook called like Pillow Talk or some oh, shit. It's like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He told I, me he going to do that. He yeah. is doing that. I was like, nigga, he get that, that motherfucker over there. Put, put that a little voice on. change yeah, yeah. and shit. Matt, blur the face. Yeah, he told me he's doing exactly that. Get that motherfucker over there and talk shit. Yeah, I told him to do that shit. So y'all must have talked about it. I called him. I said, nigga, I told him to do it. Like, you need to interview this motherfucker. 
that shit gonna go up. Like that shit gonna yeah. go up because it fit what you got going on. I like you get you get who the fuck. I think I told him I think I know who it is, but I like you get whoever that is over there. Just Bro, let me tell you the interesting thing about cooks. People who don't know him and they just see him online with them head ass posts he make, they either think he hates <coughs> women or he's gay, and yeah. they kind of slow because. Even if I didn't know Cooks and I just seen them posts, I know exactly what kind of nigga he is. He a nigga that need a girlfriend. That's it. He just a nigga that need a girlfriend. That's not the way to look at it, bro. You say he need a hug. It is. You say he need a bro, hug. that's it. He just wants a girlfriend. And when he gets a girlfriend, he's going to be off that shit that he's on. I know girlfriend Cooks. It's just simple cooks. as that. I know girlfriend Cooks. I do know cooks. girlfriend Cooks. I, know I don't girlfriend know girlfriend cooks. cooks, but... I say I know and love Cooks. I know cooks, cooks is different from last time he had a girlfriend. So a new girlfriend will be a new cooks. I can a get new girlfriend saying. is always a, a fresh breath of air. Yeah. Once you get to the level where you, I'm going to make her my girlfriend. And my nigga hasn't had a girlfriend quite some time. But he said the same thing Ma said. Like, Ma was like, he never was the same after that situation with that girl. Cooks told me his last girlfriend, he was never the same after her. Man. I can, I, can, I feel it. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware of Kyle. Tip, man. Hold, hold up, but do y'all know that girlfriend cooks, or do y'all know his baby so. mama girlfriend? Yeah, mama. I know that cooks. Oh, okay. I was, I nigga, I was there the night cooks met his baby mama. Okay. Yeah. He met him at our crib, so shit. Yeah, he was around when I. He know who I was. You know what I'm mm. saying? I'm gonna say I know. I know. Yeah, tip boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. About his heartbreak. Yeah, cooks was there for his heartbreak. Mm. Man, we might as well talk about it before we get off. Hey, man. You know, I'm just fucked up. It's promotion for your next Four project. Hours, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Promotion for your next project. You know what? Since you brought that up, man. Because we already saying, talked about him project. It was four yeah. hours at last. Four hours out now. Go listen to it. Go play it. All sure. that shit. That's, this nigga got some Spend shit. the whole thing. We need that urban legend. though. No, that's the Got whole a heartbreak shit. take. Nah, it's yeah. elevated. All right. I feel elevated. I'm going to shoot a video. I'll be, I be in my elevator bag, too. Okay. I'm going to shoot a video for that. I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah, that's my man, yeah. You know. That's my favorite one because like you know I was just having a conversation with somebody at the uh, cigar bar about this last night. Elevated just made me think about like how fun it is having sex with a girl that you like. I ain't gonna lie, because you rarely just, do that. Just, you rarely do that. Or just like just having fun <sighs> with a joint, or just clicking. Like, y'all really? I just might need you. to do a podcast with you because really. That's how I, I don't, I, I've come to that point in my life where I be realizing that like a lot of the women I be having sex with, I don't be liking them. Yeah, like, like bro, imagine like, being with a girl, y'all having a about. great day. It's finally time for y'all to do the do, and you mm-hmm. look at her face and be like, I want to kiss this, I want to kiss yeah. this bitch in the mouth. I can't remember. You that. rarely do that. I'm asking y'all this: how when is, how often do y'all kiss bitches? Y'all fuck. I ain't, I kissed a bit when I got. Caught. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I don't want to say bitch. Take that. Back. Women. I, yeah. I, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Last time when I. This little shit happened um, before we left when I got caught in the car and shit with her about 12. We got down. Oh, okay, okay. 12 put up on me out here in the car on some humble shit. You told me about that. We got down. <laughs> nigga, nigga had the cheeks in the window and shit. She kissed. <laughs> she was kissing me. I ain't gonna cap. To me, it was like, ugh, because I don't really like kissing no more unless I really liked a bit. Me but too. But um, it was on some shit like, I was just... Trying to fuck, you know what I'm saying? I really <laughs> yeah. wasn't trying to. F- I mean, I knew I was. Fin- I really didn't know I was finna fuck. I just putting up on her. But after a while, I could tell was that I was finna on, fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like she came to me kissing me, so just to get it initiated, like I, I kissed the bitch back. But it was and the whole time she was like it was real sloppy, like so I was like, oh what the fuck? So I got I'm type of nigga. I got down when the shit done. I be done. I wipe my tongue across my hand. I spitting and shit. You know what I'm saying? about you, Slim? That's how you I kiss while you had sex, time. brother. Matter of fact, better question. Besides, besides last time you had Jesus? sex and not fucked. You said last time I did what? what you had, had sex, sex and, not and, and not fucked. What you mean had sex and not fucked? Fucking is just, you know what I mean? Sex is <coughs> I'm kissing the bitch. I'm sucking oh, on the neck a little bit. Oh, I ain't did that All right. since. I'm going a, I'm to a answer it like this because, of course, I got a girlfriend with Jesus. Um, Your girlfriend like is this. Jesus? Correct. So are you gay? I might be in the community. Okay. But who said Jesus was a man? Everyone. Bro, don't judge my sexuality. But anyway. All right. I got you, brother. <laughs> so, like I was saying. God is good. <laughs> like I was saying. Um, <laughs> bro, I, I, I just got to answer it like this. Must be let's, assume, let's assume you had sex with five women your whole entire life. We're just assuming here. Okay. Because we grown-ass men. We're not going to sit here and talk about how many women we had sex with because that's disgusting. Okay. For you sure. You know what I'm saying? 
So let's just assume 10. Let's do 10. 10 is, 10. 10, 10 is, 10 is a good number. Out of those 10, let's say one was my girlfriend, and let's say I kissed another one. Okay, I like that. Out of 10? Yeah, because I'm going to kiss my girlfriend because I like her. Yes, and yes. every once in a while, I'm going to meet that ratchet ass, six foot tall hood bitch with this the big old six ass. Six foot. That I boy. love tall bitches. What size yes. should that be with? Like a 10. That bitch. Hey, you ever seen a picture of that little nigga sucking that big ass foot? That's disgusting. That's you. Not, no. <laughs> No, no, sir. That boy fucking Cheryl Smith. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't My fucking My last with girlfriend the ain't like to kiss like that. You'll so fuck Britney Grimes? Like, fucking, she ain't like kissing. No. Okay. So she ain't like kiss that, like we'll pet. Looking like a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll pet when we dip and some yeah. shit like that, but she ain't like kissing. So I ain't had sex with nobody like that, like had sex since my birthday last year. So. Yeah. Of course, mine's my woman, man. My, my angel, my queen. But, you know what I'm saying? But prior to her, I probably had like a drunk night or something. Yeah, you, you know, you ain't really supposed to be out here kissing all these bras. No, niggas that be licking twat on the first night. Like, I remember. But you said a nigga head. ate ass at 15. Yeah, my nigga agrees. Shout His out my mouth is no like, good. You should do nothing to ride. It's agrees, like secondhand man. throat. Bro, he got a whole pile yeah. with me talking about his passion for eating ass and cootie cat. He, He's out? he said, yeah, it's, it's an old pile. We did it. Shout out, Grease. He says a part about what? Like he he talked about food. yeah it's a clip on my page you can go to my page and you see Grease he's, he's talking about it. he's talking about how I mean some niggas like to eat ass no. he put his thumb in the butt and he put yeah. his middle finger in the cat I ain't gonna say no name clip. couple my partner done, I know some niggas that done got their ass licked bro y'all gotta watch that Boosie podcast get your bro. ass licked yeah, he with that shit yeah Nasty see I ass, ain't man. that Boosie podcast bro oh, on, God, on, I mean not Boosie podcast Boosie drink on uh, drink champs. <laughs> Yeah, oh, man, it's nasty. That shit on Drink it's Champs. Nasty, that nigga, that nigga know it was like, yeah, man. We heard you had like a, a ass eaters event, some shit. They're like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, yeah, my partner wanted to come, so he done said he here. So nigga know it when he called a nigga. My bad, know called nigga up. I was like, come over, man, booze in here. So nigga's like, yeah. So what's up about it? And then gave him some some little details. Bro, it's awesome. I'm with it. All I gotta do is eat ass. <laughs> that shit on it's on his shit. And bro, I gotta, I gotta watch that interview. Yeah, bro, I'm with that shit. I'm gonna link up with you after this shit, Boosie. I want that shit. Put me down. I be one of the ass eaters. Look, we tomorrow. That shit had me weak. Like niggas just eat that ass. Her ass go mm-hmm. right down. Yeah, niggas do that though. I eat ass. You feel me? But I don't eat ass. You feel what me? you mean? You just lick around it. I done ate some ass, but I don't be out here just eating ass. Oh, I got you. It's niggas that just eat ass when they fuck. I got you. you feel Never me? done it. Man, see, I don't, I don't judge niggas for what they do in the room with their girl. I, and I don't care what you do in there. That's not, that's not my. But everyone ain't your girl. That's but the I do judge niggas because they make it bad for the rest of us that eat cootie cat the first time they meet a bitch. Is that and the hell? Like I was just about to tell y'all. One time I met a young lady, and it was my first time meeting her. And you know we got ready to do the do. You know, she got down. She tried to probably ask you to eat up. Yeah, and I was just like, I ignored it and went on with my business. Going, yeah, and the yeah. next day, she like called me and was like, you know, that shit was kind of weird last night. And I was like, what you mean? And she was like, no, no, excuse me, not the next day. I fought with her again, and then she called me the, the the next day after that, and she was like, yeah, you know, the first time I understood, I was like, okay, this nigga oh, girls, a real nigga. The girl standing up about that shit. Yeah, yeah. she was like, she like, okay, you, okay, this nigga a real nigga. He ain't about to just eat a girl, eat a girl out. He just met the first day, like, woo, woo, woo. But she was like, okay, I felt that. Oh, that's she said, rare. She said, but the second time, I was like, what he got going on? Why he not eating me out? And I politely told her, like, first off, I'm not just eating box. I'm not out here eating box. Yeah, I don't know but you. But second off, well, man, I'm like. I ain't eating your box. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that too. I'm you I, feel you on that too. I don't even want. To, I'm telling you, bro. But you don't try to hurt. Feelings. That's what the paragraph yeah. is about too. Shot was on that. See, I'll be putting shit up like that on Facebook, but it just be that's how I feel. But it be bitches that feel hit. Feel hit because that happened to them. Like I don't have bitches that I've been fucking five, six, seven years. Never ate that pussy before. But I always get hit. You, you got a whole call. You a whole call. You yeah, child. A bitch yeah. call you childish because of that shit. She'll say, nigga, but then, childish. like my last bitch, I'm I, certain. I don't call it childish. I call it selfish. Selfish. Sometimes you can be a selfish lover. Yeah. That I, I mean, like I just it. call that bitch. Just, I mean, just being aware, smart. It's a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, it yeah. ain't childish. I mean, I like, ain't like I told pussy. Grease day for yesterday, I'm not the pussy monster. Yeah. Nah. So don't come at me boy, if you monster. looking for the pussy monster that Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne fuck y'all. Yeah. Up, man. Don't goddamn. I'm eat that pussy. Yeah. I probably can count on both hands how many pussy I ate in my life. Okay, I can't tell that. Lie. I might use one. I might. 
For real, for real. I know I ain't ate more than 10 bitches. I, we yeah, gonna I talk about this off the pod. I'm gonna tell y'all. We about to end right now, though. Anything yeah, else y'all man. got to say before we get off? Four hours. Four hours. Y'all be out right yeah. now. Go play that shit. Yeah. Shout out to Low for recording. Yeah. Me. Shout out to Akeem for mixing me. Yeah. Shout out to you, Slim, for fucking with me, doing catching yeah. the pictures for me. Everything you do, fuck with me. For sure. The video yeah, gonna be me, dope. Man. We got out. We got a lot of shit coming. Yeah. A lot more shit coming. Just Come get a job. Yeah, niggas is hiring. Huey Enterprises, Huey yeah. Incorporated is hiring. Hardly ever is a fucking enterprise. Yeah. It's money everywhere, all over the fucking floor. It's yeah. Shit, man, it's money all yeah. over the fucking floor. See, man. I ain't even got that kind of shit. Got that. Money all on the floor. Yeah, just come come get a job. Money all on the motherfucking floor. Huey Enterprises, you better come get high and you'll get fired. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. And we out, man.